Come to the Saturday Night Freak Show for magic. We come to this podcast to laugh, to cry, to care, because we need that, all of us. That indescribable feeling we get when the notification icon lights up and we go somewhere we've never been before. Not just entertained, but somehow reborn together. Dazzling voices in my small AirPod buds sound that I can feel. Somehow, crappy movies feels good in a place like this. Our ego feels like the best parts of us, and stories feel perfect and powerful. Because here, with Colin, Sean, Holly, and Michaela, they are. The Saturday Night Freak Show, we make fun of movies. Come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. My name sounds good in Australian. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Sure. Yeah, th- that was incredible, Holly. <laughs> Thank I, you. I, that was an incredible <laughs> performance. And I <laughs> practiced that my entire commute home. Oh, I was, did yeah. well, We've all been practicing in our <laughs> hearts for Forever, many years yeah. now. Yeah. But I was trying not to make eye contact with you because I was laughing I so hard. Like, yeah. I appreciate you for <laughs> looking away. Yeah, see you out of the corner of my eye. Thank what you. is but their next move? We gotta do say, they do a sequel well, to we that? We have to say thank you, Richard Kratzer. Oh, yes. yes. Thank you, Richard Kratzer. Thank you. Writing that for us. Wrote the Saturday Night Freak Show Pledge of Allegiance. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Based on I hope you listeners at home were standing with your hands over your heart as you heard that yeah. with your caps off. Or you can replay yeah. it too. Show well, us yeah. would, would AMC dare? Like they're allegedly doing a sequel. Magic. They're allegedly doing a sequel. Yeah. That would be a bad move. I think. Yeah, you just got to run this thing until, until yeah. Yeah. you got to go till at least until she how, looks different. Oh, I guess. Oh, oh, like, well, I mean, she could say the, that looking the who. Uh, Oh, that's right. Uh, because somebody, uh, the reason we did it is because, uh, uh, well, uh, first of all, I suppose uh, for those of you folks who live in, uh, who go to Lowe's theaters or oh, go yeah. to or, Cinemark, don't yeah, know what the hell we're doing. Or, yeah. Because yeah. uh, oh, yeah. I've never seen this thing on TV. <laughs> just at the it movies. It is on TV. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen it on I've TV. Never caught it on TV. It's on cable. And at first uh, it's a little jarring because you're like, wait, they're advertising movies on TV. Yeah. It's it a full, little weird. Is it the full long yeah. version? Mm-hmm. Oh, and there's wow. a short, but, uh, shortened yeah. one too. Yeah. But the right. running joke is that they show it at, at AMC the theater. It's the only place I've ever seen it. But we're already at the theater. Yeah, we're already here. Nicole, I'm here. Yeah. So the person who reads this in the movie theater welcoming us to AMC theaters is Nicole, Nicole Kidman, Kidman, and she is the star of tonight's movie, Correct. which is chosen by Holly. Oh, oh. Holly, <laughs> <laughs> what did we choose? What did you choose tonight? Tonight we watched Dead Calm Ooh, from mm-hmm. the year 1989. 89, mm-hmm. uh, directed mm-hmm. by. Oh, I don't have my notes out. Phillip, his last name was Noyce. Philip Noyce. 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 Yeah, it's Philip Noyce. <laughs> you are very. His, his last name is actually <laughs> nice, but the Australian Noyce, yeah. phonetics. <laughs> yes. Noyce. I know. Philip Noyce. I was <laughs> like, I remember that last name because it that stuck with me. Yeah. yeah that well, first you name. should remember Philip Noyce it sounds because familiar. he directed movies like Patriot Games, oh, Clear yeah. and Present nice. Danger, The Saints, The Bone Collector, Salt, Dead. Oh, movie wonderful. Giver. Yeah. The TV remake of, of Roots. Yeah, like I said, one of you said dad movie. Yeah. <laughs> just like, well, okay. yeah, clear present danger, and what was the other one? Patriot Games. Patriot that's yeah, that's yeah, a dad yeah. double feature. Those are Saints, good movies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those movies are meant to fall Boom asleep connected. on the couch on a Saturday afternoon too. Yes. That is why they exist. Patriot it's games. True. There was something in his filmography that stood out to me though when I was looking through it, and I'm like, oh, he did Blind Fury, the movie with uh, oh, yeah, the Rutger did... Howard, the remake yes. of the oh. Zatoichi. The I've Blind seen that movie. movie. Yeah, yeah, that's an interesting movie. That's an interesting set of movies he's handled. Here, yeah. like it's yes. yeah, so he's been around for a while. Was this it? This mm-hmm. was no, he had done rabbit proof fence prior to this, I've heard of correct? That one. Mm-hmm. In, yeah. Uh, yeah, and so this is an Australian production. Say, he's correct. Australian, right? Yes, yeah, I was gonna say, mm-hmm. yeah, it's a, a um, very Australian movie. Mm-hmm. Who was the co producer on this movie? Um, or producer, I guess, yeah, and uh, second unit director. Mm-hmm. We're talking George about. Miller. George Miller, yeah. 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 the director of Mad Max and all I those. And all, the other, and all the other yeah. Mad Maxes. I don't know and, uh, what George I was thinking of. It was like, it's George. 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 <laughs> George Millet? Like George Miller, yes. Thank you. Yeah. So I he guess. Had a, yeah, he had a big part in the making of this movie. Was it, uh, Sean and I were talking at the end, mm. uh, was this a deal that like George Miller developed the movie with the intention of uh, directing it maybe and then. Or if you make a movie with Australians, it has to go through George. Yeah, because I mean, second unit director, much, right? Yeah. I mean, he had to yeah. get in there. He mm-hmm. was actually doing mm-hmm. doing some heavy lifting, on right? It. And it's not like I was gonna say like, well, maybe he had to step in at some point. But Philip Noyce seems like a guy who knows how to direct a movie. Yeah, so he's I can't nice. imagine. <laughs> he's nice. He's nice. Nice. Yeah. 
Um, okay, so who yeah. who are the other stars of this movie? The entire cast consisting mm-hmm. of three people: uh, mm-hmm. Nicole Kidman, mm. Sam Neill, and Billy Zane. Mm-hmm. So, are, do we have any any debuts for anybody in this? This is Nicole Kidman's debut. Okay, mm-hmm. Billy Zane had also oh, been it? in. Back, Back to, to the, the future? future. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. All right. So is this first lead? I think the so. easy Billy way. Zane. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think it was. <laughs> yeah, Sam Neill was obviously already established at this point. Um, possession. Sure. <laughs> he had done possession, possession. at this point, right? Because that was yeah. 83, he an Australian 84. TV show at some point. They all seem to Yeah, neighbors something. are home and away. One <laughs> of the two. Yeah, and he had one. been in, uh, yeah. he was uh, Damien in oh, yeah. Omen 3. Which right. is what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot Not he Damien. He was Damien, yeah. Yeah. So Sammy Neill had been established, but I mm-hmm. think like kind of making as well. I mean, Damien was a big, you know, 20th Century Fox movie. Um, so Billy Zane's working his way up. Whatever happened to Billy Zane? Remember when they tried to make I him into Billy Zane? So, I so what happened? Uh, wasn't he well, in like a Blood Rain a movie or he one of those in, Uwe Bowl, uh, Uwe Bowl movies? Uh, what should we call it? Um, the the <laughs> Demon Knight. Tales of the King. Yeah, that was back when yeah, he was he a is thing. That. He yeah. is currently. I follow him on Instagram and I love him. He, <laughs> he does a lot of art. He's an artist, which is wonderful. Um, he's got good stuff. But also, he's been working on a Marlon Brando biopic, playing that Marlon Brando. Because I, I was that. like, that's perfect. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah did he go out with Titanic? I mean, it was like. Titanic no. was like a big deal, and then after that, uh, it was like Blood Rain Two. The Phantom. Something. We're talking about. Well, the that Phantom. was before. I know. Yeah, but that's still. what I was going to say. Is the movie that the, when he they tried to make plenty. Billy Zane make a leading you know, dude, it was the, the Phantom, Phantom, which if we anyone, covered on this show. Uh, yeah. If anyone oh, yeah. has been lucky enough to meet Billy Zane at conventions, please tell me what that was like because mm. I want to meet him. I love he, him. He he lost all his hair, didn't he? Well, he shaves his head, so I assume uh, he yeah. lost a lot of it. I know, just it's unfortunate he had a, a, <laughs> yeah. a luxurious head of hair mm-hmm. at a certain point. I was very jealous. Yeah. So he's, he's the only American in the cast. Then mm-hmm. uh, I don't know if there's subtext there that they're going for. I think he's the like, crazy one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. So dead calm, dead calm and Sam Neill. I'm sure. Right. We got him on the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame. Right. We did Jurassic Park. We did yeah. Possession. We oh, did yeah. this. Yeah. So at least there, yeah. he's there for. We did Event Horizon. That mm-hmm. he's in. Oh, yeah, yep. yeah. Did you do uh, in the Mouth of Madness? I think we did. In the Mouth of Madness? It feels like we did. I feel like yeah, we did. we did in the Mouth okay. of Madness. I was, I was going to yep. say, I feel like I wanted to bring it, but we'd already done I it. I think yeah. we've done it, yeah. Okay. So he's been all over the place. Yeah. And, uh, still working, I think, right? He was in one of the Jurassic World. He has a cat yeah, named a- Boo that doesn't like him. Isn't That's all I know, because <laughs> on Instagram, he pops up every now and again with his cat named <laughs> Boo. Oh, I need to follow him. I love was he uh, in one of the Thor movies, right? Yeah, he in, was. Oh, yeah. Was he, he played He played um, an Asgardian actor playing Odin. Oh, right. oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Right. When they do yeah. those right. funny right. cameos. Yeah. 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 Bo- the thing is, in both Taika of them. Taika Waititi. Taika Waititi, yeah. Taika Waititi, yeah. Taika, yeah. yeah. Australian? Is he New He's Zealand? He's New Zealand, oh, okay. yeah. Where's Sam Neill from? He's British, I think. He's Australian. Is he? Yeah. I, thought, I think so. I thought he was British. I thought he was Australian. Uh, well, he, so. he might be. I don't know. Um, Ireland was so. born in Omagh, Co. Tyrone, Northern Ireland. Holy shit. There you go. Well, there you go. Uh, English-born mother and a New Zealand-born father. So oh, he's, okay, he's, there you he's, go. Like, he's a worldly man. Yep. <laughs> All right, so now you know. This we know. So this movie takes place in the year 1989, mm-hmm. a magic year when Hollywood was like... Fuck all those big expensive movies. We're gonna make thrillers. Thrillers mm-hmm. came yeah. back like in a big fucking way in the nineteen nineties. Yeah. I remember thrillers. this is like on the cusp of like the hand that rocks the cradle. Ricochet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ricochet's right around this time, isn't it? Pacific Kites. Anyone remember yeah. that one? That's another one. This one kind of seems like this is f- a forgotten movie. I mean, based on our mailbag, yeah. like nobody saw it or remembers it. Yeah, but this is, but it's that it's that sweet spot in the nineties because this is considered like. Uh, like a psychological erotic thriller. Oh, yeah, because right, he did. That was sliver. a whole subgenre. He did, yeah. Yeah. did sliver after Basic Instinct. Yeah, no, yeah. that was in the thriller. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that was horny psychology movies yeah. of the nineties. Oh, yeah, yeah. Color of Night. Yeah, that was a big one. Show. Yep, I'm fucking here for it. Yeah, yeah that's an American Jalo <laughs> movie. Love it. Yeah, I'm, it I'm is. gonna go to the carpet oh. for that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um. So. Uh, yeah, this is um is based on a book by uh, Charlie Williams. Oh, that's why I was trying to say George Williams earlier, because I was thinking Charlie Williams. Okay, based on a novel by Charlie Williams, um, and it was written by Terry Hayes, 
You you know Terry Hayes. Is he, is he the Pirates of the Caribbean? No, like uh, half of Road Warrior, Beyond the oh. Dome, oh, pay, oh, oh, Payback, okay. Vertical Limit, From yeah. Hell. Yeah. Okay. Screenwriter. He's mm-hmm. been out there. The guy who wrote the book was uh, Will- Williams. Charlie Williams. So is yeah. he like a suspense guy? Because that's what we got here. This is a, yeah. this is like a Hitchcockian, mm-hmm. a modern day Hitchcockian suspense thriller. Yeah. Um, so, but, and it all takes place in one location, and yes. it has three people boat. in the in the yes. cast. Mm-hmm. Where, yes. What's the location? The uh, ocean. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's supposed they're supposed to be sailing like South Pacific. It's mm-hmm. filmed at the uh, Great Barrier Reef. Mm-hmm. Okay, but, so it all yeah. takes place like basically contained on a boat, and then mm-hmm. two boats. But we'll get to that. So we'll get to that. the Saint. So. Here's yeah. so, Eric, I used to love that movie. I'm sorry, I'm just looking over <laughs> Philip Noyce's. The Val Kilmer, the yeah, Saint. that yeah. was I had so much fun with that movie. 1997, yeah. that was good. Um, okay, so mm-hmm. getting into this movie, we're establishing yeah. right off the bat who we, our characters are. Yeah, we've got kind of a surprising intro in this. Movie. Yeah, I would say so. Wow. There's one big surprising yeah. moment. Yeah, there's a there's a fairly surprising intro. In this yeah, movie. we're introduced. Yeah. Yeah. Neil coming home. I did not expect a no. Lars von Trier type I, intro to this movie. Holy I shit! I could not wait to hear your reaction to this. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was one surprising. of those things that was so bleak you had to laugh because otherwise yeah. it's too dark. Yeah, it like, <laughs> otherwise it's too shit. fucking dark. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. So okay, so we'll talk about it. But I mean, what are they? Well, okay, yeah. Set us up. Who's who's who do we meet at the beginning? How do we get to this shocking moment? And what is the movie trying to set up by doing this? Um, so they're trying to set up um uh, a, a married couple who has suffered a tragic loss, and mm. they're just trying to find a little escapism to bring themselves back, like get gain some composure before they rejoin the world. Is that mm-hmm. it? That's, so that's yes. all that is happening. set up to like, well, this is why they're on a boat. And to be like, yeah. and to be like, he has military training. Yes. So right. that, for, that as a I, Navy yeah. man. Yeah. Which yes. is what comes into play yeah. for the rest of the but movie. It's, it, yeah. It's both of those things. Yeah. yeah. That's, the Navy <laughs> stuff is heavy. He's like, yeah. uh, ju- he's a captain or something. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. just mm-hmm. coming home with a bunch of, we see a bunch of sailors mm-hmm. on a train. He gets off at a platform, but no one's waiting for him. Mm-hmm. And he's going to get some bad news. And yep, it turns yeah. out that his wife, Nicole, his child turned into a missile. Yeah. What? <laughs> so what happened there? Horrible, horrible news. <laughs> so he took off to the front one ceiling. I haven't seen him since. Sir. <laughs> so very sorry. It is a shocking, <laughs> shocking scene because yeah. there's a, like yeah, a it, child it, dummy gets yeah. hucked through a window. Well, yeah, we, we, it, we unfolds, learn... it unfolds because Samuel is met at the train station yes. by two police officers, obviously giving him bad news. Yep. and then it cuts to the hospital. Where the doctor's saying, you know, I'm sorry, we, your your son is gone, but he didn't suffer. Mm. Um, and then he takes him to his wife, who is still yeah. in you know critical Nicole condition. Kidman, yeah. Nicole Kidman. I guess I'm sitting there watching it. I'm like, oh, she left the lost the baby in childbirth or something. Yeah, I was <laughs> wondering what was going on. I'm just yeah. like, wow. it's a good thing they show you what happened. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think it is because I guess I was. That's where my head was. I'm like, oh, you know, she was pregnant and she got yeah. in a car wreck, but that's not what yeah. happened. But they I mean, I, well, I think it's I think it's clear because the doctor says like. Um, he didn't he, suffer. He, he didn't suffer. He was he was uh, conscious for like twenty minutes, oh, okay. but he didn't suffer. Uh, yeah. So to me, that pretty much says it's it's a child. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what what happened to this child? Well, clearly they were in a car accident. Right. They're um, in the car singing. Um, itsy bitsy spider. Itsy bitsy spider. What's his, the kid's name? Be- is the kid's name Ben? No, Jack. that's the dog. It's Jack. Yeah. <laughs> the dog. Either is ben. or. Uh, <laughs> I think it might be Jack. But anyway, he's playing in the back seat, and he uh, he drops his toy, and he unbuckles his. Child seat. Damn those kids in their child seat. Uh, I mean, mm-hmm. and Nicole Kimmon was driving on the wrong side of the road. Let's just put that out there. <laughs> this leads to this car accident. Well, it's raining. It is. It's, 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 it's a like, rainy night. She's distracted. She's like, oh, I look. thought you were making an Australia joke because they drive on the opposite <laughs> well, side. Well, yeah, of the I mean, road. it was a joke. Yeah, like, yeah, obviously, yeah, they are yeah. somewhere else. So no, she's like, driving it's, on. It's already raining, and she's like, turn it around and look at the kid. It's like, I, I get you're worried about the kid, but also you're driving. Like, right. So she ends up you know, sideswiping a car and then going on a, a, a head-on collision with some with <laughs> with another truck, car, I guess? a, a I truck, know, I think yeah. it was. And the and the kid who is not attached to the car anymore <laughs> is launched from the back seat through the windshield. And they show it, yeah. it's, But it's not. But it, it's it does it at such a pace yes. where the child is a missile yeah. traveling through the in interior like a, of the straight car line. In yes. a straight line. Yes, straight line doesn't like move. A missile, yeah. Like that but, man but, can got but, shot out of a cannon. But is it's what it looks like, like the shot is of Nicole Kidman 
and then out of like right frame, kid's head coming through. It's amazing. Not following it, just like he's like he's slow mo flying through there, and then he stealth missile. It is, and he goes to the windshield, and they didn't cut it soon enough because the, the kid stops. Oh. But, like it's a few frames, but the kids just stops and hangs there for a second, oh, no. and then they cut away from it. So uh, a few more frames than that. But that kid, yes, the the child dies. It was <laughs> extreme. I guess yeah. in a way, at least the way. Yeah, it was shocking because, like you know, I sat there going, like, wow, I haven't seen something like that. It feels like in a major theatrical film in a while. Although I it think- reminded me of Antichrist when Willem Dafoe's baby falls out the window. Oh, that's why you're that saying. Yeah. It, so I was like, yeah. is this a fucking large one? True, we were killing babies in the opening <laughs> scene. Jesus Christ! Uh, like, we wow. Were just okay, talking yeah. About him. Yeah. Exactly. Did you see that, Colin? That he posted Lars von Trier posted on social media that yeah. he's like, hiring. He's like hiring for a girlfriend a muse? slash muse. Yeah. Oh wow! And I was no, like, Holly, beat Lars von Trier's muse. I was like, <laughs> he's going to turn that into a movie. Exactly. Plot yeah. 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 I was like, I mean, I'm not doing anything. I'm going to be suicidal did, by the end, but I'm not doing up? anything. You <laughs> have to go dressed as Nicole Kidman from the opening thing yeah. when you show just up at his door. With the just, glittery suit. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. make sure your contract allows you to write like a tell-all book when you're done so you can make yeah, some no money NBAs, off of it. Yeah, like, and yeah. Then, then yeah, go for it. Yeah. Didn't Nicole Kidman say she was like never going to work with him again? She I was so. in. Uh, there were two movies. There was, was uh, Dogville and Manderley. Oh, so early stuff. Yeah, Dogville's fucked up. She was in that and said, I'm never working with him. So they got Bryce Dallas Howard, I think, to be her character in the second one, mm. if I remember correctly. Dogville is something Weird. else. Yes. Howard is good at taking sequels that the other person doesn't want yeah. to do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sloppy seconds, No huh? sets in that movie. It's just drawn it's on the drawn on, Yeah, yeah that's why I initially watched it, because I was intrigued yeah. by that. But yeah. Then it went on for three hours. Yeah. You're like, I got it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Starting to sound more familiar, yep. but... I skipped that one. Large <laughs> Montreal. No. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. 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 To say interesting the least, movies. interesting. Yes. Now I'm going to be thinking about what my tell all book's going to be called. Yeah. When you, like when Lars you become his muse. muse. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking the Lars. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. So, um, so yes. Shocking. Mm-hmm. Yes. Came out of nowhere. Set a tone for this movie. I, I guess had, I'd seen it in the theater when it came out, but right. I didn't remember a damn thing about the movie except one key plot point uh, about the boats and who's the captain of the boat, how things happen. Uh-huh. But that was all I remembered. So I guess I'm sitting there going like, whoa, so this is going to be one of the movies because I know Billy Zane's in it. That's going to put them on a boat. He's going to get It's going to be the psychological thing yes. where we're driving wedges between these people because yep. of this past unresolved trauma we're going to find out a bunch of other stuff that and none of that happens nope. <laughs> but here's the, this is kind of like i know it's not this movie's fault because it's so early on but this is kind of my issue with billy zane is when i see he's cast in something i feel like i already know what exact role he's going to play like he's going to be the disruptor that impedes your main story from happening right okay, but that's you, what he is in he's fucking good at everything it. i but, know but it's but it just but like it gives away something. the movie right, yeah, right? True, you know yeah. like if you're casting sean bean it's like it, oh he's yeah, dead it's like it's like okay so he's going to be the linchpin like he's going to be the wedge that gets driven between right. everybody yeah. that disrupts the plot I, I fucking hate that I know that anytime he's casting <laughs> something that's what he's going to be because it just kind of kills the surprise of stuff sometimes mm-hmm. you know I have two examples where he's not mm-hmm. Tombstone and Zoolander mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you have an ensemble Billy cast, Zane. yeah mm-hmm. does back to the future well and he was Holly do you remember in the boys uh <laughs> when the deep has the not without my dolphin movie made Billy Zane plays him in the not without my dolphin movie. Yes. I love that. <laughs> it's, it's like they got Billy Zane for a joke that's on the screen in the background of a TV show. It's great. Insane. That's good. It's yeah. Great. Well, I guess they do. So, um, I mean, we immediately cut to some time later, not very long after. And, uh, we're on a, 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 a yacht. Mm-hmm. Or, or, or sailing vessel. Yeah, it's yeah. A schooner. So, yeah. So instead of getting therapy, know, my... schooners are smaller. I okay. Think. So yeah, this is. But he calls the other big. one a schooner. It's a sailboat. Yeah. It, yeah. It's it's, it's a yacht. It's a, it's a yeah. Is this a type of boat that Matt Dillon's character would go like that? Same a boat. boat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> same. Yeah. <laughs> that's not a boat. That's a boat. That's, that's a boat, boat, Charlie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Those yeah, I got, I got some yeah. of those vibes from this as well. Obviously, not a boat and shooting spears at people. So but, they're troubled, right? And uh, we're like, okay, it's going to be one trouble, of Trouble, but troubled together. But instead of seeking therapy, let's just go live out on a boat in the middle of the ocean for a month. I like, mean, it doesn't... It sounds good for the first, like, two weeks. Right. I was going to say, like, haven't we all just said this land? 32 days is way too long. I mean, it would To be, be alone me. with your thoughts? <laughs> 
Guys, they, like they don't this have internet. Like they don't have shit. They're together. Yeah. And they're gonna, they got boating shit to do. I think that they got because I mean I think that's the the kind of the movie is getting at that too. But it's like you are kind of in a survival situation. Mm-hmm. I think when you're on a boat and you see all these people on luxury boats and you're you're like, ah, look at how easy it is. But I mean, it is like a tenuous thing. You're out yes. in the middle of fucking nowhere. If you're, na- yeah. if you're sailing and navigating your own boat. Yeah. 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 It's just a lot of those people have a staff. So just yeah. that just that alone like gives the tension for this movie. Yeah. Because if especially if you're not a fan of the water and just like, they're all alone out there. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. for yeah. miles mm-hmm. in every direction. They have no one to rely on but themselves. And they're going to strengthen their relationship again. I just feel like if you're psychologically fragile already, this seems like kind of a pressure cooker situation to make it worse. I think you're right. I think a better, a more ideal situation is if you're like island hopping. Yeah, yeah. Seeing can, something, yeah, you other can, than you just can ocean. be like on solid ground in between. Like, yeah, going like cruise. a purpose. Like they are literally just there in the middle of the water oh, yeah. to not, to do nothing but think right. and process there's their no, trauma. There's no for them. There's no yeah. forward thrust. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and there were scenes of uh, Sam Neill, you, you know, as he's watching uh, Nicole Kidman. You know, she goes swimming in the ocean. Yeah, which we were kind of like, oh yeah, that's right. I guess you do. Can uh, you kind of you can go swimming in the ocean mm-hmm. when you you're can. on a boat? No thanks. But should uh, it feels like. A dangerous situation. We're we're landlocked and and mm-hmm. rarely get on the water. I don't know about that. Um, <laughs> My parents did this though. Like, there was a few summers that they went sailing around the Virgin Islands with their friends. Mm-hmm. Didn't invite me, but <laughs> yeah, they would do that. They'd just like hop out and go swimming in the middle of the ocean. I was like, that's no thanks. Uh, Too many things can go wrong. It's insane. It's like uh, Free, going yeah. off the space station with your tether. <laughs> and that's yeah, what I went, exactly. I went, I went kayaking <laughs> once, like off the coast in California, and I went out into the ocean. But I got to the buoy, and I was just like, "This is far enough." Yep. Because you feel when you're that out panic. Like that that you, panic creeps yes, up real quick. <laughs> it does. It's exhilarating, but you feel it. You're yeah. just yeah. like well, you are it, small. And compared it's because to the rest of, of this. like your your perspective is so close to the I guess the you know the the, the waves. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like you don't have like a a nice high drone shot of where yeah. you are. Like you're right. just looking out in the horizon. It's yeah. flat all around you. And all it takes is one really big, strong rogue wave to pull you out a lot farther than you intended. And yeah. then you got to hope you can make it back. Yeah. Like a storm comes terrifying. in. Terrifying. No, thanks. Yeah. How fast do you go? And I don't know. It feels fast. Mm-hmm. I mean, I suppose they know in knots, but yeah. you know what I mean? Still. <laughs> yeah. Um, Okay, so mm, so we're all terrified of boating, is what I'm getting here. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that far out, yes. ocean boating. Yes, we're lake people. We're like on, inland, on a lake yeah. or like the the bayous of Florida. Yeah, yeah, a nice contained the bayous of Florida. That's what the, the gators, gators are. Yeah. I know. That's that's that that water. Okay. You went gator hunting? Not hunting, but looking for them. We call it gator hunting. I would never shoot a gator. <laughs> They'd so come you, and find me. So you took a tour boat on, no, no, on no. My, the Everglades? Uh, my uh, grandparents lived down there, so what? they lived in the back, and they had like a river that came up to the back of their house that took them all the way out into the- Dude, you can oh, see them. They're Was everywhere. Was it on stilts? Uh, no, oh, they weren't. Damn. No, um, the maybe the back end of it okay. was, getting closer to the water yeah. was a little bit. Yeah, other than that, yeah, yeah. What? Hmm? Sean's they, been wrestling alligators there? and isn't telling us. Uh, everyone's dead. Okay. okay. I was gonna say, can Michaela go and train for her <laughs> bog witchery? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you. I do have Michaela to get over my fear like, of murky water. Yeah, if I want to be a bog witch, so yeah. She's like, nah. That oh, sounds okay. like a bog witch house. Right yeah, it does. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are we talking about? And had a nice lanai. Uh, <laughs> nice. So, very golden girls of them. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Well, in the distance, one morning, as there. Well, I was saying, yeah. there's some shots of him that that look kind of sinister as he's watching her and I'm like where's this movie going Samuel? Is gonna be one of, does he secretly hate his wife and all this other stuff you do wonder like what is it yeah. going to because be because he resent her for killing their yeah. child yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. right yeah surprise none of that like comes in which is okay. very loving he's They're very, very there for it's like we are out here together to do team. this yes. we were talking about this as we were watching the movie but this the they're couple goals, man. They like they ride or die for each other, and like everything they do is to get back together. Yes. Like mm-hmm. they are working so hard at keeping this together, despite all the bullshit they've been through. I love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It is kind of surprising. We're probably going to talk about that more as we mm-hmm. get into this. So this movie's a romance. It is. It kind is. Of like I really think so. Hardcore. Like I don't know. I really like these people. I do like, too. <laughs> yeah. You know, because I guess I'm so jaded by most of the movies that I'm watching now. Where you know, it could be just the the stuff that I'm watching, but mm-hmm. you don't see this kind of like devotion. No, never. You know? True. And no, because um, they never require you to have like a romantic relationship. And we don't have those in movies at all anymore. Like everyone is sexless and genderless and just has no complicated relationships whatsoever yeah, with each other anymore. Yeah. So, but this, they yeah, I on love the level of comic book writing, unfortunately, yeah. right. even your non comic mm-hmm. book movies. Mm-hmm. Um, so they see mm-hmm. in the distance, 
a ship. A pirate and ship. And from... A pi- it is like a fucking pirate ship. It's basically a pirate ship. It looks like a pirate ship, yeah. And, <laughs> it's got uh, hatches that can be battened down. I know. I was like, that. that is like a ship from some pirate movie that they borrowed or whatever. Yeah. I was like, is this going to be a haunted ship movie? Because, like, why does this ship look like it's out of well, time, you know? Actually, okay, if it was made today, Dead Calm would be a ghost ship. Yeah, also, like, we were actually watching the ghost ship prequel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would have believed you, honestly. Ship. Billy Zane's in it. Yeah. Well, Billy Zane is in it while well, he's off it. He's coming toward the boat on, and he's, like, rowing like a motherfucker to yeah. get over to their boat. And his little cowboy yeah. hat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... Working work those back muscles. I guess this is... So they take this guy in, and he's like, you know, the boat is sinking. Well, he's all freaked he's, out. Yeah, he's very... Uh, frazzled. Wiry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Typical Billy Zane, just fucking Very frazzled. So Spazzy like a cartoon Spazzy, character. Yeah. Energetic, yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that what we're saying? That That is like his thing, basically, yeah. is the ticks and a lot of... Yeah. And like the I smarmy mean, humor. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I it, mean, maybe I haven't seen a lot of Billy Zane. I wouldn't peg him down to that personally, but maybe I haven't seen a lot of Billy Zane stuff. He's usually kind of calm in the ones I've seen. Uh, again, The not, Phantom. The yeah. Phantom is what I'm, I'm going for. I'm, I'm thinking of his performances like... You know, Titanic, Tombstone, The Phantom. They're not, he's not like that in all of them. I no. thought Demon Knight, he was kind of like yeah, that. Yeah, Demon Knight, he definitely was, goes yeah. I'll give you that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not I did not like his performance in that movie. It annoyed me. <sighs> okay. What was that? He had a great fucking line about shit kicking motherfucker. Oh, he did. I can't remember what. <laughs> he <laughs> did. <laughs> shit. That was hey, a good line. There, shit kicking motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. He does get a little western uh, yeah. with it at a certain mm-hmm. point. It was yeah. great. Um, <laughs> we covered Demon Knight on We did go also. back and listen. We did. We did. Um, so he comes aboard, and then. Mm. So Sam Neill's sitting there going like, I don't know if I buy this guy's story. Right. He I was gonna say, why would you? Slowly, you need to be yeah. skeptical right. in this situation. Yeah, you should, yes. But he's slowly pulling story out of Billy Zane. Yeah. Who is not he, so yeah. willing to give it. No, he's not very forthcoming. No. no. He's, he's like, you know, the ship's sinking. And, and then he's like, well, you know, we have to go save the rest of your crew or, whoever's or your with gear. You. Like he's we like, gotta go. He's like, it's just me. It's, it, there's no one else. And yeah, every what gear I have everything here. There's every no gear left. Every mention of checking the ship is kind yeah. of rebuffed by. Yeah, and he's very much like everything is ruined when clearly the ship is still like right, on the like, water. Yeah, still like, there. Not un- submerged at all yet. Yeah, but he also says he was with passengers. He, he eventually admits that. Yeah, he that he was with six other or four other people. And he has yeah. their passports. Four, the Four the people has he their, has passports, their passports. They all died of botulism. Yeah. <laughs> they ate the salmon. I like the way he did that, though, because he was like, you know, he describes the symptoms and leaves it up to Sam Neill to fill in what it actually like. Sam Neill's mm. like, oh, yeah. sounds like botulism, yeah. you know? Um, so Sam Neill, of course, wants to go over there and see what the hell's going on. Of course. Right. I yeah. wouldn't. I, I think anybody would be like all right what's you want to know the whole story if you're this guy's just going to be on your boat i yeah. would which they let on real quick i would want to know but i'd also not want to leave my wife with this no man. there are some decisions made in this movie that i would not no have made yeah. well to Samuel. his credit and not that this is a great idea but he's like well he's sleeping and nah. i locked the door so he and he'll never wake up, right? Yeah. 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 Come on. Okay. It's like, I'm just going to take the boat. I mean, he might sweat there. himself to death in this movie. Yeah. Well, the dinghy, so sweaty. Right? He's going over on the dinghy and yeah. he's going to see. So then the suspense begins, right? Because we're like, oh shit, he's off going to the boat and he's going to find something. Mm-hmm. And Billy Zane is clearly pretending to be asleep and he's awake. Mm-hmm. And what is he going to do on the boat with Sam Neil, with Nicole Kidman, Sam Neil's wife? What does Sam Neil find on the boat? Well, a lot. He, he finds, yeah, he finds evidence that there's been like partying and stuff. There's, it's trash. There's, you know, alcohol. Right. Everywhere. The boat itself has been made to look partyish. There are naked mermaids everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that also they've clearly drawn on the boobs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like lipstick or something. Yeah. yeah. And then there, like, there's a TV that eventually, once he gets the power going in, eventually starts. Yeah. Playing tapes, but there's like stuff written on the TV. Fear is now or something like that, Ooh. or yeah. Some, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some just it's. I mean, but it's, it's there's lots of like sculpturing, like old salts and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what? Okay, give me the backstory on this boat then, the way you understand it. What actually happened there? Because Sam Neill finds like dismembered corpses. He does. Yeah. He, go, he goes down. Uh, he goes down below, and there is water. It is taking on water, but. Mm. Among the water, sealed up in one of the rooms, there's bodies galore. Yeah, he opens it up and a, a torrential yeah. flood yeah, comes a out. Yeah, a bloody flood. <laughs> a bloody flood. 
Yeah. And then bodies. Yeah. Just so now we're like, so yeah. again, kind of like that opening scene. It's not just that they've been murdered. They've been dismembered. These naked women. Yeah. Uh, floating in the, in the water that comes in. So it's like, oh, wow. What the, you know, like the, the, the threat level has now yes. suddenly gone like way up. Yeah. Because so, this is clearly a very, very, very dangerous guy. Mm-hmm. Yes. So did he answer the ad or did he place the ad? I got the feeling that um, I got the feeling he answered the. Air. I think so too. Well, I think because they reveal that there's a photographer on the boat as well that's taking pictures, and that's yes. that's the creepy photographer. It's his ad. Yes, but he's Bill, the captain. I think. Yeah, I think I think Billy Zane is the captain of this boat. Really? Because I, I thought so. he said like you're the dancer and yeah on the thing you're the dancer. So he like people respond to this ad. Again, maybe I'm wrong, but I got the because the, the captain's like this old salty sea dog who's also like, you know, he had been a war photographer right. in Vietnam and all this mm-hmm. shit. And now he takes pictures of uh, women with a broad, uh, what was it? A, a broad mind. <laughs> a broad mind, yeah. Well, it's it like you need uh, willing people with a, But so he placed an ad to have women come on for a photo uh, shoot on a pleasure cruise into the ocean yes and billy zane also signed up on this and so they're all going to go out there and or have a big party or like he convinced his way on is what i would imagine like he's sitting yeah. in a bar he hears this well, is all in my head yeah, he's sitting well, in a bar he hears the guy talking about his plan and what he does on his boat and yeah. he's like hey i can help you out well because later on billy zane does give glimpses that he's like he's gone to art school at one point right he, and this could all be lies and bullshit but i it believe it could him. be but yeah like i i think he really does yeah, fancy himself like an art connoisseur, art like a appreciator or whatever. Yes, he is talking. Know? There's a lot of talk of bone structure. Yeah, so art. I think maybe he's like idolizing this guy, and then it eventually goes south. Yeah, the guy yeah. makes fun of him or something. We see in yeah. these video uh, tapes, and then uh, so is that what happened? He snapped. I think so. I think the guy kept mocking him. Yeah, and I think he snapped because so he it killed everybody. He killed the girls too. Because it sawed him up. Yeah, because it seems like well, I think eventually he got there, but it's, it seems like he was like eventually Billy Zane got behind the camera and was just like, hey, you know, if you did this and the, your composition, yeah. you could get a, and the captain, the other guy's just not having it because he's like, I take the pictures here. Yeah, it's like Billy Zane was trying to help out, and then the other guy. Unfortunately, like, you are the dancer. Why don't you just stick with that? Unfortunately, the novel goes into a lot more detail of what Ooh. actually happened. So what happened? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I, that I don't know. I, I Damn it, Holly. I'm okay. sorry. I'm sorry. Say, I was gonna go. We didn't read the book, okay? We yeah, watched, we watched the, movie. the movie. We have to deal with what's in the. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I and bet you there's yeah. chapters of flashbacks. I was like, there's a lot. To... More, I know there's a lot more in the book that talks about why he snapped yeah. exactly what yeah. happened. Mm-hmm. So. so Sam Neill's like, "Oh fuck! I have to get back and save my wife. She's on the boat with a crazy person. And he's wife. like trying to row back, but Billy Zane wakes up, escapes from captivity, and commandeers a goddamn boat. Well, yeah, because at a certain point." Um, Nicole Kidman starts starts up the boat and starts going towards Sam Neill. Yeah, I forget mm-hmm. why. Because she's like, he's not, he's awake and knocking on the. Yeah, oh, so yeah. I remember he's like, let me out. Yeah, yeah. 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 So she's like, fine, I'm gonna go over there and get pick up my husband. Mm-hmm. Right. So we're well, in and, this. Yeah, and she's watching Sam Neill, and she sees him like frantically run across the boat and like jump down onto the dinghy. So she's yes. like, okay, something's wrong. So now we're in a race against time between Sam Neill and a dinghy. And then Nicole came in motoring the boat over there. Sorry, I said motorboat. Uh, motoring the boat over there um, to to try and meet up. And it's like, will they? Will Sam Neill make oh, it? Yeah. But yeah. it's like a Hitchcockian really thing. Yes. Yeah. Because it plays it right up to the yep. fucking yes. last minute. Yep. Yeah. yeah. He jumps and you're like, oh, he's going to make it. Yeah. Oh. Right up to the last second. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's very nice. And so he is in the water. Uh, there has been a fight between Billy Zane and Nicole Kim, and she is knocked out. And he commandeers the boat, and they are off. And so now, Neil is left in a dinghy. End of Act One. Yes, you're Mm -hmm. you're fucked. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, you're usually fucked at the end of Act One. Can't be. And like Sam Neil could not be more fucked. Like the propeller hit his arm, so he's bleeding out. He's in the ocean. His wife is knocked out, dangling off the edge of a boat while this madman's driving it away. And his only option is this sinking boat. And he's right? fuck, he's fucking injured. And it's like in that moment, I c- you can't help but think, this dude already lost his son. Yeah. Like, this fucking yeah, this sucks. Not- yeah. <laughs> but I got to say, like, coming out of this movie, these two kind of have to approach life with the mindset, like, nothing worse could ever happen to us. Like, we've experienced <laughs> the worst life could ever give us. It's yeah, all true. up from here. You so, know? yeah, it worked. Yeah. yeah. Your therapy session actually yeah. did yeah. work. You know what? Yeah. Regular life's not so bad. Yeah. yeah. 
That, um, actually, that actually makes a lot. Of, yeah. <laughs> so is that why that scene is so extreme at the beginning? It's like you're going to get a bunch of extreme shit yeah. Yeah. following after These that. poor it's people, it, yeah. they have suffered enough. My yeah. God. Mm-hmm. Let them have just like some time to be normal people. Yeah. Um, so then the movie normal basically- people who wash- who, who shampoo their their hair on the, on, oh on the, the, on the deck, front of the yeah. yacht, on the deck of the yeah. yacht, and those yeah. type of normal? Nicole Kidman is, like, beautiful in this movie. Yeah. I mean, 22 like, years old. Yeah. 22? Yeah. Was she? She's yeah. 19. 19? Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, my goodness. Jesus. Was than she seriously she's in this? She's 19 Holy because yeah, she's Sam, a baby. Sam Neill was 39, and he said Jesus. later on that he had a problem with filming yeah. like, this stuff with someone who was 20 years younger than him. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Damn. Yeah. And yeah. uh yeah, because I mean I remember, you know, seeing Billy Zane, sorry. Twenties, whatever. Okay. Well, seeing her with the curly hair, I'm like, oh yeah, mm-hmm. this is like Days of Thunder and Far and Away, yeah. you know, Nicole mm-hmm. Kidman and oh, wow. I watched Far and Away so much when I was a kid. Yeah. I don't know why, but I've seen that movie. Which a one's lot. Far and Away? Is that the old period piece? They're song? Irish. Yeah, and, yeah, like, and they're the stake they and land. They come and to, everything? Yeah, they come yeah, to America, yeah. manifest isn't, destiny. Right. Yeah. Isn't there a race to like claim, race? claim land yeah. and shit? All right, I'm I remember. That. my head into the river. Yeah, that <laughs> Dude, thing. don't you wish that we could still claim property by running and taping it off and being right. like, that's mine? Do you have a flag? God, could you imagine? No flag, no, no, no country. country. You can't have one. <laughs> Those are the rules that I just made up. It was a Ron Howard movie, wasn't it? Ron Howard? I mean, it might have been. It's a Ron Howard movie. I hope um, I watch that a lot. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> so, um, so now the movie, the narrative splits in two, which I did not expect. I guess mm-hmm. right. I thought this was all going to take place on a boat. It yeah, was going to be a boats. psychological, <laughs> you know, thing between the three characters. But it isn't. Are you it's okay? Like, we had two boats in this. I know. Yeah. yeah. No. No. Two, bo- two boats is fine. <laughs> they're not right. animals. They were yeah, there yeah, at the yeah, beginning. Yeah. yeah. So what, we yeah. weren't a surprise. It wasn't boat a at the surprise end. boat. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Yeah. Good. Now, if like a third boat had shown up and saved them all, I would have been like, what the third bigger boat? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If Billy's angel showed up on like an aircraft carrier i would have been like what the fuck yeah <laughs> okay. well we've got the sam neil story Billy's and his commandeered sam neil's own boat. yeah exactly yeah. yes <laughs> he's got his crew Sorry, his, yeah. he's got his whole navy turned against yeah. him yes <laughs> that would be the ultimate yeah <laughs> and they come back and he's just standing on the edge of the aircraft carrier you gotta really get like double binoculars to see him standing up yep. there was that ever considered as a tag to the movie? No. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I, like, I do have the taglines when we're ready, but go ahead. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. so the movie is in two. We have basically a survivalist movie yeah. on the ocean as Sam Neill puts his uh, knowledge of uh, nautical uh, engineer, whatever, you know, skill set mm-hmm. to work trying to stay He's alive. He's a seaman, Colin. He's a mm-hmm. naval seaman. Yeah. Yep. Yes. The, the, nautical the, knowledge. Yeah. Royal. And wow, this is stressful Australian. to watch, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Every time it they is. cut back to him, I'm like, oh, the movie I don't like as much, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't like it because it was because stressful. Because it's stressful because and it's yeah. just him. Because he's dying a slow death yeah, on a ship. You're, yes, you're watching him slowly <laughs> die. And, and, yes. and, and God does not want this man to live. No. Like every little thing that could happen to get him stuck somewhere pretty much right? happens. Yes. Well, so Awful. what's he dealing with over there? Oh I mean, what's God. his... Uh, yeah. well, okay, he's bleeding. All, yeah, while okay. he's doing all this. He's bleeding. Second yeah. of all, the smell. Yeah. The smell. I can only yeah. imagine. All these yeah. corpses, well, bloated like, corpses. First of all, corpses ship, in water. Ugh. First of all, the ship actually is sinking. Yeah. This True. is actually happening. He doesn't know it quite yet, but there is yeah. water being taken he out of the ship. He has a hand ship. pump Yeah. The, that he uses to pump out the water. Like a hand. Because the engine is not working. Yes. And the electricity is not working. The electricity is not working. It's been flooded, so things are out. So he's trying to pump the water out so he can get the electricity in the engine Yes. And there's not like flip a switch, pump the water. No, no, no. This is like churning butter. <laughs> yes. Oh my god! And this poor man only has one good he's, he's arm because the propeller is other one. Like two it's hours. Like, yeah. It's like watching someone blow up an air mattress in the eighties. Oh yeah. my right? god! With yes. one of those like yes. fire flu looking yes. things. Yes. Fire just, like, doing this. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I got one of yes. those. Yeah. 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 Just with one, with one of those. It's just foot. like you use your foot. Yeah. 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 It's just uh, this guy's <laughs> existence is miserable right now. Like, oh this yeah. Is awful. For the next day. He is in hell. Yeah. This is. One thing after Man. another. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, his thing, I guess, is so he gets the boat running because, you know, he knows what he's doing. And yeah. I'm assuming then that Billy Zane didn't yeah. know enough about how the boat He's just works. a party guy. Yeah. 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 I mean, it seems like he knows enough to to run the boat. To run it, yes. Yeah. If it breaks, he's like, well, fuck if I know. Yeah. Like, well, but Sam Neill is doing some, like, engine surgery. Like, yeah. I mean, to be- like we cut from one, but he's got, like... Uh, uh, some nice white pants and a blue shirt, and then we cut away, and then when we cut back to Covered him, he's shirtless. Grease. He's yeah. grease. He's got wires going, <laughs> yeah. standing in knee high water. It's just like okay, like he's in it. Mm-hmm. 
I love that stuff. It was like, <laughs> it's uh, good. Because I guess I didn't expect a survival movie, but right. you know, it's like, okay. Um, so his, uh, so, I mean, like, yeah, how is he going to, I mean, mm-hmm. I, you're like, well, he's got to figure out a way to chase down right. and mm-hmm. save his wife. He wrote down, like, he was, I forget, he wrote what, down what their, is it called? The coordinates. The, yeah, he yeah. did. He wrote the coordinates and the time, so he knew where they were. Well, yeah. What's the thing called? I forget. Uh, it's the sexton. Shit. Sexton, yes. Yep. He's got the sexton and he's he's doing angles and, and yeah. where everyone's gonna be and all that. So, mm-hmm. yep. so he's like he's doing calculations do. that don't matter to us because yeah. I don't know what he's I doing. Don't he's got his heavy rulers yep. and shit. <laughs> he's, 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 and he's yeah. got the what what is the fork <laughs> thing where you like measure distances? A with compass? It? No, no, no. It, it's oh. I is suppose the, so. I'm going to go with the sextant. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but he works for me. <laughs> so, uh, so he does establish uh, communication. Yeah, that was he does. He gets a, the electricity going. I he, do, yeah, he manages, I like this. He manages to hotwire the boat, and he's he's on the radio, and he does get through to Nicole Kidman. He can hear her, but she can't hear him. But she can hear the static. Yeah, yeah. Right. He's, and he his starts. Clicks he he's... starts doing not not a Morse code, but kind blink of blink once for yes, yeah. blink twice for no. Yeah, yeah. Basically. yeah. But essentially, yeah. It's I, it's a good scene between them, but also just because I like the um, uh, just the sound design of it always feels good on my ear with the, the clicking and the radios yeah. and all that stuff. This part got me emotionally a little bit. I was like, this is so sad. <laughs> like, right, like because I'm like, he's gonna die, and right. he yeah. and she can't even hear his voice. Right. Like, this is sad. And you're just getting in the. The acting's great because yeah. the realization between the two and Nicole Kidman, like figuring out what they're, how they're yeah. talking. To each other. It reminded me of Ghost. Really good. It's yes. A, yeah, and yeah. I was like, oh, this is getting me in the in, in and the it, feels. It is yeah. so yeah. emotional because it's like, wow, these two are so connected. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Like, yeah. They, yeah. Just, yeah. they get I mean. it. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh. God. He's like, come on, you're going to get... And then mm-hmm. she's like, oh, it's the this. And yeah. he's like, yeah. I'm like, these two are meant to, you know. Right. But I, So I'd never seen this movie before. So when this happened, I was like, oh, no, is he a ghost? <laughs> like... <laughs> I was like, is there something with this boat where if you like captain it, it's like a ghost boat sort of thing? <laughs> so That's where I thought this Pirates was going. Of the Caribbean movie is what I, they're saying. Well, because I'm like, why can't he be her? Like, because like the static you was coming really through. You were really stuck on this ghost ship. Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I'd never seen this before. But yeah, and it looks like a pirate ship. So I'm like, it's, it's gonna be magical. Dead calm. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, like, because he could, she could hear the static and the clicking off. She just couldn't hear his voice. Mm. So that's why I was like, he's, he's a like, ghost. He's a ghost. ghost. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I love that theory. Yeah. That's funny. I was like, oh shit, he's already dead and he doesn't even know it. That's so fucking sad. Like, that's, oh, it's like white noise. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, that's the ultimate I was like, oh no. I was like, she's going to get all the way to the boat and he's not going to be there. I was like, this movie's going to crush me emotionally. I can't handle it. I know, but it did seem like it was, I mean, like that could have yeah. been a possibility, right? Like, yeah. cause you, I guess you don't know. And I kind of like that. Where you're like, you I mean, you're hoping that they, but you don't know who this guy is. Yeah. Philip Noyce's uh, style is very serious, very ominous. I like it. Um, it reminds lot, me of Manhunter a little bit. Yeah, yeah. The, that's what yeah. I was thinking yeah. too. Uh, did, uh, that was, that wasn't the same guy, right? Dean Sumler shot Manhunter. So. But um, the, uh, the uh, music. Mm. Sounded like yeah. it was suited for like a uh, like a uh, uh, demon possession yeah. movie, yes. or yeah. like some kind of a lot very of religious true. choral kind of yeah. you know very heavy shit. It was, it was like, like vocal like, breathing. Yeah, that, especially yeah. yeah, we got a lot of that. It really felt like somebody was breathing. breathing. I made this yeah. part of the point, like somebody was breathing down my neck, which I yeah, mean, yeah. Works that's for the idea. Yeah. yeah, it sounded a little like. Um, medieval like monk like or something yeah. i don't know there was some kind of you know mm-hmm. graham ravel is the right composer. especially when she's like when she's sailing to try and this is farther along in the movie sailing to try and find sam yeah. neil and she's got that just that nice cut of sun right behind her as she's oh, going into the darkness shot. and the music with that it's just like oh beautiful that's mm-hmm. such a gorgeous shot well what's going on in her so he eventually ends up like yeah, I mean things go from bad to worse uh, yeah. he keeps getting he, stuck places almost drowning and he's trying to put a shit back together to try and keep going yep. yeah. that's what he's and going he's eventually on. like pinned underneath the um, because like a yeah. mast cracks or gets hit by lightning and yeah. <laughs> falls right, falls the, the, right, right that's why I was like the door. ship's cursed like yeah. it's gonna <laughs> keep not, you here not wrong. no matter what this sh- boat's gonna keep She's you like, here bootstrap bill yeah. <laughs> yes. and, basically and he's also being psychologically tortured by these random videos that keep popping up on the video while he's trying right. to do all this he's, yeah. he's yeah. getting to see that when he he's knows that that man is with his wife he's on literally that boat. watching the progression of how bad it's getting yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah which did not expect found footage elements of this movie at all 
all. Oh. Did not expect that. So Predated that was the found footage craze. Yeah, by like ten years. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah, this a, was a tube television. Yeah. What? Um, so what's going on on Nicole Kidman's boat? Mm. There is uh, a back and forth. Cat and mouse. Cat yes. is, yeah, yeah, it's cat and mouse between these two. You know, who's got the upper she's hand? She's in survival and, mode. Oh she's yeah. Like she's like, what do I need to do? <laughs> yes. She's like, I, I got you know, a million things probably going through her mind. She's like, I got to stop the boat. I got to yeah. get back to my husband. I got to not die. Yeah. From mm-hmm. this guy who is dancing, just you know, up dancing. And my dog yeah. is going to do his hardest to fuck me over at every oh, chance. Dog, he <laughs> what is up with this dog? dog. My he just God. wants to play fetch. He's just a, Michaela, oh, he just you, wants to I play. think you would know that. But it's like. He's the dog. The, the, the point of having dogs is that they're supposed dog. to sense when things are not right. And this dog has cannot read a right. room to save yeah, his life. Yeah, yeah. My no, God. Truly he can't. He does he not give a he fuck can't. that she is in this distress. This dog like, cannot read a room. No. <laughs> and he tries to. He keeps coming into the room looking at people going, Yeah. Is it, you're what, not my just, dad. Right, just, yeah. Who are you? And then he's like, It goes away and then he comes back. He's like, like, Well, you're wearing a sweater. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, yeah. Is mo- this is weird, mom. Yeah. This dog, oh, they would have been scene. better off without this dog. Yeah, she pulls the engine key to try yeah. and stop the boat, throws it out in the water, and of course we've established later it was Chekhov's like a catch game. Yeah. Yes, the dog goes and brings it back, and Billy, Billy, Billy Zane's all happy about it. Yeah, um, Billy Zane has this this way this, during that scene when the dog's coming back. He's got these little like offhand remarks and everything that are very funny. Yeah, like for a guy who is psycho one minute, he's also still very. I guess charming, but he's it's funny with yeah. in the in the way he delivers his lines. I'm wondering how mm-hmm. much was written into the script versus how much he brought to it mm-hmm. because he I, he's doing he's very charismatic. Yes, he's yeah. very charismatic, yeah. and he's yeah. So what's I guess that's what I was kind of I mean I guess you know maybe it doesn't matter right. This is a a, a movie about a situation. Yeah, the guy is dangerous. Yes, what's his motivation? Where does he want to go? What does he want to do with this boat? That's go kind of my problem boat? is that it's not clear. See, I wonder if they're saying like he just maybe he had this in him. You know, who knows what his mm-hmm. past has been like? Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, to, I, to, to, to fucking cut people into little pieces is like kind of extreme. It's yeah, not just you I, I think them. that's I think the point of the movie is it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter why he's doing what he's doing or what he plans to do. Right. It's, gotcha. She's it's stuck their with survival. Him. Right. Because yeah. when we get yeah. to the end of it, we could have almost gone when she ends up pushing him into the the tent, the floating tent. Mm. Like he could sail off and do another movie. Yeah. And do yeah. something else to other people. Yeah. Like I, I, I half expected like the movie to be like another boat picks him up, and that's the start right. of their th- horror movie. Yeah. I think yeah. He, he clings to different groups until he doesn't obviously need them anymore, or he's, or you know, until. His perception that yeah. s- somebody's against him, I yeah. think, is what always comes back to him. So I think he's sick, me. right? Yeah. Nobody, yeah, yeah. they, like yeah. Thing. Eventually, yeah. people don't believe him. He gets paranoid. He's very paranoid, and I think that yeah. is eventually his downfall in every situation. Mm-hmm. He'll start out, you know, you know, um, probably on the straight and narrow, but eventually, everyone's out to get him. Yeah, because I mean, like I said earlier, the. Um this was this was based on a book, and in the book, they do go into detail about like why he loses his mind. I'm gonna have to read that. But I feel like Cliff's notes. I feel like when Terry Hayes wrote the screenplay, that was his intention. He's like, we don't need to know why. He's just crazy. He's just gotcha. crazy. Yeah. The right. movie but, is about their survival well, as a couple. He's crazy, but he's like a dangerous kind of crazy where yeah. you know he's aware of what's going on enough to outthink you and you know yeah. that kind of stuff. Although. Although some dumb decisions were made. But I like that. Like, he's fallible, and eventually... Well, he's fallible, and so is everybody else, because there's opportunities to do things that they don't... Characters don't take. So, you're because talking you're, about... They don't... Yeah, when she you're in survival mode, I don't know that you're always making the best decision. Very true, but when we do get to the points where you can make good decisions, they are not made. She well, has like when she ties him guns. up and leaves him in the, the room instead of just killing him. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, there, we guns come into play, harpoon guns, mm-hmm. and multiple chances to end your problem yeah. Yeah. are I, I mean, not taken. I have, to, I have to assume that there's some sort of play on the fact that Nicole Kidman understands 
the loss of human life and can't bring herself to do it. There is yeah. that I can wonder, be said, right? Is that yeah. what they're? Cause, I think that's what it is. Because I was I was sitting there going like, wow, is this just a movie from a more innocent time? Have we all been conditioned to be sociopaths? No. Where it's she like, doesn't just kill him. Go that just far. kill him. And, I think you know, it, yeah, she's like, if I do that, I lose my humanity. I can't yeah. kill another right. person. I'm already uh, pretty low on that right now, right. as far exactly. as how I feel. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah, she takes a lot of care to tie him up, lock him in rooms, eventually mm-hmm. put him out on a dinghy on the. You know, yeah. but oh, not to kill like, him. I already killed one person. I can't kill another right. That's, person. Yeah, she's like, she's like, I don't care if he dies, but yeah. I can't do right. it. Right. And the right. brakes on a sailboat aren't too good. She can't yeah. launch that dude yeah. through the yeah. Yeah. metaphorical she, yeah, windshield yeah, yeah. into the ocean. She also already killed her own dog. Yeah, yeah. That, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This, yeah, this right, poor yeah. woman, she's been through so much. Like, yeah. I just want her to have a nice day. Now they're going to be at sea for like 100 <laughs> days to try and get over this shit. But I really liked her character. I mean, she was... I think she was doing all the right things, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, mean, was- I, I, I couldn't. I mean, we didn't really jump into it yet, but you know, that gets to the point where she goes along with Billy Zane and eventually, like, lets him rape her. Yeah. Essentially, yes. yeah. Which because yeah. she the nudity, I was really surprised by. I yeah. was like this, like I didn't, I didn't think Nicole Kidman ever had a movie where she had any nudity. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, so I was like, surprised. I remember yeah. her being naked and like everything she was in back yeah. when she first got, yeah. came mm-hmm. on the scene. But uh, but just that that moment when she like plays along for yeah. survival, it's yeah. like oh my god, this because poor he woman. wants yes, to be friends. It's gross. And yeah. I actually was kind of thinking like, well, you got this crazy dude on with this woman. Like, is this going to go into, a, you know, a rapey situation, mm-hmm. which it holds off. The movie does at least like for longer than I thought. Mm-hmm. And then it becomes like she's trying to win his confidence. Right. And or and because he's clearly this. crazy and delusional. Yeah. So well, by, her, can you, by yeah. her playing into it, it that's her. Be- that's to her benefit. Yeah. So yeah. she can take a moment to she's slip disarming out and him. go yeah. like, you know, uh, start to get the. The shotgun put together. Because yeah. in, right. <laughs> like, in his mind, they're sailing off into the sunset. They're a yeah, happy couple yeah. now. Because he yeah. fall, he's crazy. He, right, because he falls into that. It's like yeah. you and me sailing around the world, and they become mm-hmm. a little happy homemaking couple and, right there as they're chopping lemons. Because mm-hmm. yeah. that's literally like what he says. Like, yeah, yeah. Sail, yeah. You and me sailing across the world. Yeah. Like, it's, yes. yeah. it's literally just like that. He's yep. just living in the now. I mean, that's yeah. basically yeah. his thing. Is like, I know we could all learn something from Billy Zane. Just living in the now. I'm kidding. Well, his is, you know, like. so nauseating. Maybe not that now. Uh, different now. I was not like, even going to think about when I'm this like, catches up to me. Yeah, We're just going to go full this poor speed. character not throw up. I, that's where I was like, how is she keeping a straight fl- face, let alone not like cringing to death and right? wanting to throw up? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. Violently vomited mm-hmm. everywhere. But she uh, eventually gets the idea because again, uh, uh, Chekhov's uh, sedative you know, that she needs. You mm-hmm. know, coming out. You know, with the, yep. the, her traumatic uh, she experiences. Spikes his lemonade. Mm-hmm. And knocks him out. Well, eventually, there's a yeah. life and there's death a struggle. Scuffle. There's a huge scuffle. Yeah. yeah. And eventually knocks him out. And she ties him up, and then she takes command of the ship. And she's like, "I am going to find my fucking husband." Mm-hmm. And so she's out there, like uh, cutting a jib and uh, throwing the mass. And uh, and she she lady. asked him how many hours she has until. He, yeah. he, he sinks completely and he says so, less than six. Yeah, so she's like, okay, I'll be there by sunset. So this becomes, her time frame is. she's going to rescue Sam Neill. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. I like that, like halfway through the yeah. movie, it became yeah. like a different, you know, like, oh, mm-hmm. this is what's actually going to happen. Moment, yeah. moment of appreciation for Nicole Kidman, the owner of that boat that they filmed on taught her how to sail. So nice. at the end when she's doing all that shit and she's actually sailing the That's boat and cool. doing all that. I believe yeah. it. Yeah. 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 With, uh, she did a really good job. I never felt like... Uh, she was helpless in this no, movie. She and that's what I loved about she it. Yeah, yeah. Interesting decisions, but she never, to me, felt helpless in this movie. Like, right. right. Really, uh, she's like, again, that's why I loved it. Yeah. yeah. She's always thinking, always yeah. trying to do something. You, you know, can always... see her thinking. Yeah. I think, yeah. yeah, that that really comes across. That, and that's yeah. nice. Mm-hmm. I could see, but see, this is the contrast of the two performances. Her and Billy Zane was like, I could see him thinking, but it it felt like self conscious acting to me. The way I read it as a viewer, where hers, I think, is like she's a better actress, right? Than but, than he. Is. You could also say that yeah. Billy Zane as his character is putting right, on a show. Right, right. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. which I works. It, I think it it's works. suitable for the character. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, at one point, he's just like dancing on the top deck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. Yeah. She's like a kidnap victim, and he's just like dancing. And she tries to talk to him, and he's like, "Hold on." He's like his favorite part in the song. <laughs> right. And he's like, "All right, he's what living I want? in the now." Yeah. You know, I mean, really like, right now the music's awesome. Just wait. 
Wait for uh, the sequel, <laughs> Living in the Now. <laughs> um, so Sam Neill, having escaped from being trapped in the... Well, eventually he goes down in the bilge. I think he's looking for... Like right. where the hole is or something. I wasn't it's entirely like, well, clear. Well he's, well, he's trying to figure out. He goes down because he's eventually does um, go looking for where the water is coming from at this point because he's pumped a lot of it out, but it keeps coming back up. And so he does find as he is it called the bilge down where whatever it's yeah. called. But he's down there with like a knife stabbing at the wood trying to figure out where the weak spots are where the water is coming in, which is um, again comes back to him later and he's just like, oh, there's weak spots in the wood. I can get out that way, and so he escapes. He kicks a hole through the box. <laughs> Wait, fish cameo. Yeah. Oh my god. Fish cameo. Yeah. Fish cameo. Yes. <laughs> the best. Because as Sam, Sam Neill, that, did, that was not planned, right? That uh, happened. It couldn't be. Yeah. He's breathing through a pipe. Right. As, as he then, is consumed by water, he is under. He is breathing through a pipe. And this little like fucking flounder like comes up and like they look at each other. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they do. And, he's and like he, flan- he flinches a little bit too. Yeah. He's like, Whoa. It's so creepy. Whoa. And, the, and, then, and then the fish looks into the camera and then yeah. swims off. Yes. yes. And we're <laughs> not joking. Like, yeah. All of that happens. Like, the fish literally is like, "Oops, I walked on Oh, my bad. Sorry, guys." Yeah. Like, yeah. It felt very, very real. Yeah, <laughs> right. He's like, Sam Neil did not know that fish was there. No. Right? Yeah. And 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 he's like, oh, there's fish. And then he goes and tr- again and to he's the like, bottom. If there's fish, that means there's a hole. Oh, yeah. and can does, I get out? And he does find more fish and then kicks. He them kicks them. Yeah. He kicks yeah. them. <laughs> them. Oh, yeah. He kicks the shit out of the like, fish. Yeah, he does. <laughs> so having escaped, it's now dead of night. All right, mm. dead calm, dead at night, mm. and uh, uh, his wife like knows kind of approximate, um, r- you know, coordinates yeah. of where he is because she's seen the radar. Which I was surprised that like one of Billy Zane's first things wasn't we're gonna you know kill the radio and yeah. I'm gonna come down and catch you. Look, I was it's always he's like not thinking, smart and he doesn't know yeah. about that stuff because well, they they had it turned off yeah. until yeah. they were using it. So I think it's just one of those, like, since he's not used to the boat, he didn't think about it. He's like, well, it's not on. So, yeah. like, he didn't think about and it. I guess right. I was always waiting because they, they shoot her when she's talking with uh, Sam Neill mm-hmm. on the, the CB and watching the radar um, very close up. And I'm like, this is the thing where we're going to pan away. Always when I always, thought that he yeah. would be right there. Yeah. There was and even he, times they cut away to a shot where, like, there was a shadow on her. On her and yeah. I'm like, oh, that means he's at the top of the stairs. Yeah. Yep. I was waiting for it. Didn't happen. Good for them. Good Good for them. Yes. Yeah. Good for them. Thank you for not taking the easy way out. Yes. (laughs) So how does Sam Neill attract his wife to his location? Uh, Well, the ship's already going down. So he 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 fashions himself a raft and he sets the ship on fire. Like... All the gasoline. Yeah. (laughs) Like maybe too much there, bro. Like calm down. Like you burned it real quick. Yeah. Like I maybe was, start I was, half the boat on fire. I was I fine know. with him using all the gasoline, but he was like dumping it real too close to real his, close. Yeah, his little floaty. Real close, yeah. and maybe just like not so close to your floaty, dude. And it, right, and he's got like the floaty didn't look exactly like the most sturdy thing in the world. No, it's but it was scrap. barrels on a pallet. It's yeah, scrap, it was. Yeah. But it's just like, all right, just like make sure you got everything, man, because yeah. you're burning a whole boat here. You have to make sure that you're the, the tide is carrying you like away, right? right? Like. I mean, it'd be a whole different movie if the tide you were following the boat. But also, right. yeah, I just hold it for a also he's a naval man. I have to assume he knows what he's right. doing. Right? Well, yeah, again, there's that. Just like okay, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. So, but like, what he does. do I know in comparison? <laughs> right, you know? right. Yeah. Um, Who am I to compare myself to Sam yeah. Neill? Right. Um, but he does set it on fire, which um, Nicole Kidman does see a blaze in the very far distance mm-hmm. in the darkness because yeah. he's in darkness and she's sailing into it, still in the light and everything. Mm-hmm. And she eventually does see it and sets sail for him. She's, uh, I think at this point, uh, she has actually broken out the um, the heavy artillery. Uh, there's a struggle over a shotgun earlier, right. and I think all the shells are expended. Uh, and then, oh, right. um, yeah. then we get the harpoon gun. Harpoon yeah, gun. Yeah, and, uh, that she, first one goes to that door. She's like, whoop. And hits that dog. And oh. Yeah. And she accidentally really kills the dog. And then she hits him mm-hmm. and uh, locks him up. And then she's like, okay, I'm going to. And then they have that scene where like you know she's coming up on Sam Neil and they're they're both like leaning off the side with their hands extended mm-hmm. and we're like oh shit yeah. like Billy Zane all of a sudden I'm like Billy Zane's gonna all of a sudden appear and grab her yeah. and pull her back yeah. at the last possible minute because at this point she's rolled him on the floaty oh right yeah she did yes yeah he's because he tried uh, she yeah. had tied him up he kicked the door open. Cut himself loose, but mm-hmm. then he does get a harpoon in the shoulder. This guy's like fucking Michael Myers on the ocean. Nothing Truly. can stop him. Like, Truly. and then she beats him up. She gets him in yeah. the nuts and knocks him out. And then 
uh, sets up the floaty and sends him off in that. Mm -hmm. So he gone. Mm -hmm. And then she does eventually get to Sam Neill and does not. She's like, I'm not slowing down. I'm going to pick you up and we're going to go. Maybe I don't get you or not. But um, like you said, a very, you know, hands out, Mm -hmm. grab each other, pull them up. A struggle. It's a great moment. Mm-hmm. And that's where I think Michaela was like, this is the most like hardcore like yeah. ride, ride couple I've ever seen yeah, in a movie. Yeah, I love it. The next day, all showered yep. and uh, a Shampooed good day. And, yeah. yep. He's washing her hair on the deck of their yacht. Well, what, they, a, well, they first, what a life to live. <laughs> first they... Um, this when she's about, in red. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they, they do come across the floaty They come again. across the floaty, that's right. right. They pull yeah. it in, they tow it in, and then I'm like, they what are they going to do? They shoot it with flares. Yes, yeah. they have a lot of flares to make on sure he's not underneath yeah, it or yeah. shoot yeah. the flares to make sure he's not, not on it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. like, oh, shit. Right. And doesn't hurt to blow it up so mm-hmm. that yeah. should he find his way back to it, yeah. there will not be a floaty. But unfortunately, they left a, a, a cord uh, a dangling in the water and his bloody fr- f- uh, handprints over the side of the ship. So we're like, oh, fuck, he's on there somewhere. Mm-hmm. Where is he at? Washing, then, <laughs> washing the other man's wife's hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Eventually. Eventually, as he prepares. Because don't you shampoo nice, your uh, wife's hair on, on the deck of a yacht? I mean, if you were on a yacht. With fresh I water? Fuck I mean, yeah, why not? I'm probably. Yeah, like, that seems like that's some it. sexy shit right there. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah man. So <laughs> he's still there, and he's still the man handling his wife. And but it's right because uh, Sam Neill does start shampooing her hair right on the deck. He's got fresh water and everything. And he's like, "Oh, the tea's ready. I'll be right, right back." And he goes off to get because they're talking about breakfast and everything and yeah. all that stuff. And it's just the slow move in of the other hand, which you know is coming. It's all yeah. burned Ooh. up, and it's and burned and bloody, bloody and everything. And it's just it's it's oh, all you're just like no because <laughs> he's still there. And then he's shampooing her hair, and then there's a struggle there. And he tries and to like choke over the towel. He does, and I left. It was very humorous to see Sam Neill come up and to see the shadow of the struggle because yeah. it's a little cartoonish at that yeah, point because yeah. it, it, it's a lot you see of it ah! through the, the, the sail. The sail, you see yeah. it through the sail, so you see shadow. It's like an itchy and, and scratchy bit. Yeah. It, re- it really, yes, yeah. it really is. Like the tongue should have come out. And gone, yeah, ah! and the eyeballs too. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It yeah. is. I, I had to stifle a laugh at that point. Yeah, it's like that's a that's a bit much, but. But uh, were you expecting the next part? <laughs> <laughs> For Sam Neill to be a dead shot? No, I was not expecting that at all. With a with, flare. With a flare. Yeah. flare. Yeah. It wasn't flare. even a flare gun. It was just a flare. No, yeah. you have to. It's like yeah. a firework. You have to yeah. hold it yeah. and pull on the back of it. And He's hopefully. a military man. <laughs> he yep. is, but that doesn't mean you have this. Okay, whatever. Uh, I mean, wh- dead whatever it shot, works. though, he fires at a, a shadow yes. on a sail. And fuck it, it's Billy Zane in the mouth. Yeah. And this uh, flare goes off in his mouth. And, yeah. and then expl- the, yeah. it explodes. Yeah. It the back of his head. Again, yeah, the I, punctuation. Beautiful. Yeah. Certain, see, this is why, you know, I love certain flourishes of violence <laughs> mm-hmm. in movies. Right. Flourishes of violence. It does mm-hmm. have like a... Copyright 2023. That kind of like, you know, it gives an accent to that scene. Yeah. Because you could have done it like a bunch of other ways. It'd be like, oh, you got the guy. Yeah, he caught caught him in the chest and he like falls over and dies. But no, we got him in the head, in the mouth. And then it blew out the back of his head and over. He falls off the boat well. Is, yeah. Uh, that fucker is dead. Because dead. they appropriately <laughs> estimated how much the audience would want that character to die. Yes. Yes. Yep, that is, yes. Yep. That is the payoff. How much do you yes. want him to die? A lot. Yeah. I sat here. I paid my good money. And you're going to fucking torture blow that guy. Yes. 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 Kill that man. Yeah. Uh, and so great. It shall be done. And then we're out. Yeah, I know. Then they're like, get the fuck out, and the <laughs> yeah. cards come up. Yeah. yeah, we don't need anything after that. Yeah. But that's okay because we heard them talk about what their plans were when they get to land when he was washing her hair. So we didn't need the po- the next scene of them like yeah. getting their happy right. ending because we heard them talk about what they were going to do. Mm-hmm. And that's enough, yeah. you know? They are all good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, well, happy hot bag ending. up to your ears. Yep. Yeah. And then cold mango and some other fruit yeah. they were talking about. Yeah, we got the whole thing. So we don't need to see it because they told us about it. So. Yep. And uh, yeah, a marmalade or something like yep. that, which yep. I'm like, yeah. uh, so this Dark is Australia. Yeah. Yeah. So is that Vegemite or, 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 or uh, Marmite? Marmite. Marmite. It's yeah. just all nasty. Ugh. None of it sounds good. Uh, Marmite. Like, what they probably Christ. look at us and go, mayonnaise? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> which fair. Fair. You know what? <laughs> Stop your slander of mayonnaise. Uh, okay, did you know there's one ounce of mayonnaise I- on a McChicken? One ounce of mayonnaise. I don't know if that's a lot or a it, little. An ounce, yeah, that's an a fucking ounce lot. Of mayonnaise is too much. Yeah. <laughs> I like mayonnaise. that's why the bun like always slides. Yes, slips because around. there's an yeah. ounce of mayonnaise on one sandwich with a gun. Yes, <laughs> there's a mayonnaise gun. Yeah, because that's um, how much goes I'm on gonna, there. 
uh, two things. I'm going to Google mayonnaise gun later Do and it. see what happens. I, yeah. I did that send you the cookie. Make sure and, your safe search is on for that. Right. I and I number sent, two, I I you copyright 2023 Center 8 Freak Show mayonnaise gun. <laughs> I thought I sent you a picture of the McDonald's mayonnaise gun. Yeah, yeah, Holly and I had a whole conversation about yeah. the McDonald's really mayonnaise gun. Really sent me a of the mayonnaise yeah. gun. Yeah. I did not see the mayonnaise Because it's fucking gun. disgusting when you see it. <laughs> Does it look like a cock gun? Yes, but it's mayo on the burgers. It looks like a cock gun. Yeah. It looks the same. All right, I'm looking up the mayo gun. It probably is a cock gun. They probably just run to Home Depot. Oh, yeah. Just got oh, yeah. It's a McDonald's yeah, cock gun. We all think, oh, they have some yeah. highfalutin machine. No, they to, fucking uh, don't. But they're like, nah, we get a cock gun, we oh, got a roll yeah. of mayonnaise. Yep. An ounce of fucking mayonnaise on one sandwich, that's so much. That you gotta give it some flavor, because oh, otherwise, right, what's mayonnaise. it really yeah. gonna taste like? It's McDonald's. Okay, so. I think it's the lettuce <laughs> is the problem, but this is a whole nother conversation. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, a couple, uh, couple tidbits about ooh. Dead Calm. Um, first of all, obviously, it's based and don't on. And taglines. The novel yep. by Charlie Williams, but it's also partially inspired by a true story. Ooh. Yeah. No. Yes. No. In 1961, <laughs> a um, decorated World War II veteran named Julian Harvey was hired to skipper a boat from Fort Lauderdale to the Bahamas by a rich family. Okay. And it was him and his wife. And then the family consisted of like man, wife, and then like three kids, I think. Um and at one point, he did go crazy and kill his wife and the family on this boat trip. But the 11 year old daughter escaped, but Ooh. he didn't know that she escaped. So he makes his way to the port and then she ends up washing up on like a piece of like cork board or something. And he thinks he's scot free. And then he finds out that she survived and he ends up killing himself in a motel. But she Ooh. survived her. Li- she survived. She lived. Holy Fuck. Yeah. Like, that's a movie right that's there. That's wild. Yeah. I know. Christ. Who, yeah. What year? 61? Uh, this happened in 1961. 1961. Now, <laughs> now, before that... For context, Roger Maris was chasing a home run record that year. <laughs> like, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> so, right around the same time as that incident happened, Orson Welles was actually making this into a movie based on the Charles Williams book. Oh. And he about finished it, but there was a couple key pieces that weren't made, so it never actually got released. And then in 1997, they found the footage, and someone was trying to cut it together to release it. Yeah, that sounds yeah. Familiar. Ooh, it was Shit. it was called so the Deep. What year that was it was called? Familiar. So Orson Welles' The Deep was yep. based on the novel that became the when movie. When did the Dead novel Call. come out? Yes. Yeah, when did the novel come out? Uh, ooh, that's a good question. I want to say the. 30s? Huh. Well, the, oh, that's see, that's another thing I'm wondering yeah. about. What is the context of the 30s that transfers over to 1989? It's the timeless. The, yeah, it's the, the boat stuff. Be. Is all it's, it's all it's like analog. It's yeah. Trend, like, you know. Yeah. 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 Uh, ta- uh, anyone got guess on budget or anything? I'm gonna guess 13 million. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like I'm gonna say like four million. Okay. Seems cheap. I don't know. 1989. Everything's mm-hmm. expensive. 1963 novel. I'm gonna go 1963. Huh? I'm gonna go with uh, uh, 14 million. I don't know. 10.4. 10.4. I win. Price right rules. Yep. And it grossed 10.2. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oof. So yeah. critics well, liked it, but audiences wasn't. Yeah, it makes sense. The fact yeah. that I yeah. think it was a low key movie. Uh, yeah. The fact that a lot of people haven't written in about it means a lot of people aren't aware of it. Maybe they will be after hearing this episode. Yeah. Who knows? yeah. So yeah, uh, the, tor- the, <laughs> torpedo yeah, children. The incident was sixty one. The book was sixty two, and Orson Welles was making the movie in like sixty three. Oh, right he after he was well past his. Uh, yeah. 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 That was so, yeah. back in the in days when he was. With consorting with Ed yeah. Wood, right? And the, yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Okay. Um, taglines. You want taglines? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. A couple alone at sea. When a stranger called for help, they made a fatal mistake. They answered. Uh-huh. A voyage into fear. Okay. High seas, deep terror. <laughs> <laughs> Try to stay calm. <laughs> and in the Dead middle calm. of calm. Oh, I, like, I like that one. I know. I like that one too. In the middle of nowhere, there's nowhere to hide. Like that. Like that. Oh, that's, all right, pretty there good. Pretty good. All right. That's dead calm. Well, that's dead calm. So now uh, we're going to go around the table and tell you what we thought of tonight's movie. But first, we need to hear from you uh, in our interactive portion of our show. And in order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman. And his name is Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. On a dinghy, no less. Thank you for <laughs> scuttling in here, Igor. We appreciate it. Quit cool. playing with your dinghy. 
He's playing with his dingy. I thought about it when we first said dingy, and yeah. I've just been waiting for a point to bring it up. Love it. All right, so first of all, I suppose we should tell people how they can participate by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Night Freak Show. Or X at yeah. Sad Freak Show. <laughs> or, uh, well, can we just rename it? Uh, can yeah. we just call it Twitter? Yeah, Until, yeah just call like, it Twitter. Just call like, it Twitter. No, like, you who, know who throws call away Twitter. that kind of good brain management? Yeah. yeah so mean, from here on out, just Twitter. X, it's formerly Twitter. known as Twitter, yeah. shall be known yeah. as Twitter. Because, because every article I have ever read about X goes, the website X... Formerly known as yeah. Twitter. Twitter. It's the same with Kanye West. Yeah. Every yeah. time I see him, it's yes, ye, exactly. Yeah. Formerly Kanye. Yay, Prince. formerly Kanye West. Yeah. Prince all over again. Yeah. 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 This thing, the this artist. Symbol, yeah. <laughs> formerly known as Prince. Okay. Uh, on By email? Senator Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or on Instagram. That's right. I'm leaving one out. That's... Because no one comments on the other one. The other, the, the Twitter killer. Threads? Threads? Yep. No, because okay, threads fine. dropped off like 80%. Yeah. Did it? It's, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. No one has ever commented on that. Now okay. somebody's going to do it just so I, I mean, I might go on there and be you. like, good yeah. job, guys. Um, is, is it bad to admit I still don't really know what that is? Okay. Uh, I have it's not a, joined it. So. Instagram's okay. Twitter. Zuckerberg's Twitter. <laughs> I love but that. Here, here's Instagram's the, Twitter. But don't create an account unless you really want one because you it's tied to it. your Instagram and you can't delete just one. You oh, have to delete both. No. There's just no going back once you do that. That's what I'm saying. But that is at Sat Freak Show. Yes. Okay, so about tonight's movie, Dead Calm, Michael Whitaker writes in and says, I've never heard of it before, but it stars two actors who I constantly forget are Australian. Yep. This so, is why we do what we do. That's right. Right, because we are we reminding that you. he is not Australian. Mm-hmm. He's from New Zealand by way of Ireland. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's an Irish mother, New Zealand father. <laughs> Sure. Born in Ireland. Yeah, he's a lot of things. He's right. in a lot of British stuff, so I think he's mostly British. Sure. Okay. I think you can claim a lot for him. So yeah. Novato. He can, he can do what he wants. Yeah, Novato yeah, he's Judoka fine. writes in and says, This is gonna be a common refrain. <laughs> hey, I'd never heard of this. Oh no. But it was an interesting teasing of tension for 90 minutes compared to nowadays. I forgot what having a sex in a movie was like and what mm-hmm. it isn't, or that that it isn't just faded out in 20 seconds. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, the good old days. I know you're describing what television edits yeah. of theatrical movies used to be like. There's full yeah. nudity in this movie. It surprised me. Yeah. And- so now, oh, that was it for Dead Calm. Unfortunately, we'll see if more people write in before next week's episode. This is episode. why we do what we do, Colin. Yeah, listen to However, spreading the good word. This is the Street Fighter episode. Street Fighter was a movie we watched oh, last yeah. week. Joey Blythe writes in and says a couple of things. There is no guile. In the first Street Fighter, it's only Ryu and Ken. So every memory of Street Fighter for the average person is Street Fighter 2. Ryu had always been the main protagonist in Street Fighter and should have been in the movies. JCVD should have been Johnny Cage in Mortal Kombat because Johnny Cage is literally based on JCVD. Uh, He also says there is a Capcom card game that features every Capcom character called Teppin, but that's not to be confused with Tekken. Okay, you got no. That? We don't. Yeah, I, I I know what Tekken is. Okay. I played Tekken. Yeah. Yeah, we've all played all right, Tekken. Tep, Tekken is not Tekken, interesting. And it's not a brand of uh, walk. I, I hope I hope your first fact was true. It's just like no guile in the first one. It was because it was well, yeah. Ken and Ryu, or as he says, Ryu is the main character. They were the probably the main focus in the first ones. I didn't realize that guile was not in it. Interesting. Perhaps maybe that's why everything's based on Street Fighter Two because hey, characters really, weren't yeah. even in that. But First why you had it? Well, anyway, um, uh, it's Street Fighter. There's a lot of questions why, that yeah. will never be answered. Like, so, it needs to be sexier. <laughs> Mark Harrison uh, is 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 writing in to help us out because oh. we were talking about uh, Kylie Minogue being. Uh, she was in Street mm-hmm. Fighter. Yes, she was also in Neighbors, mm-hmm. which uh, we said is it like Friends or is it like Degrassi? He says no, it's like Days of Our Lives. Mm. Oh, okay, so a little more dramatic. Uh, C J Lewis little, little says. More dramatic, uh, I'm a lifelong gamer who grew up on Street Fighter 2. I remember seeing this in the theaters as a kid, and even back then it was brutal to watch. Live action video game adaptations never work and never will because those who produce and direct them know next to nothing about the source material. And the saddest thing about this movie for me, however, is the fact that this had to be the final film of the late, great Raul Julia, who helped shape my childhood 
as for me, the one true Gomez mm-hmm. addict. Absolutely. Well, he, he went Word. out in a fucking blaze of glory, I'll tell you. Yeah. That. <laughs> the movie damn. sucks, but his performance was yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, just yeah. yeah, just I I kept thinking about it after I'm just like, mm-hmm. damn. Some good, some so just some good, good lines delivered by a, a fucking good actor. I liked all that, the like, cape flicks. Always that, like, flicking the, the cape tr- back was yeah, my just, favorite. Yeah, the trill when he rolled his R's and mm-hmm. it's like it's so yeah, Shakespearean. We R's and again, I again, when he's talking about Satan coming mm-hmm. down like lightning. Just, God damn! I want to. I love this man. Like I want to watch this guy do Macbeth. <laughs> like I understand. Is this how people look at Trump? Like, do people see you him like that? that? I'm sorry. No, no, no. I mean, take it back. With, Theatrical. With just the theatrics of it. I don't know. I, I don't know. I was thinking he reminded me of uh, Frank Langella as Skeletor yes. in, the, yeah. in the Masters of the yeah. Universe. Because yeah. that guy is also chewing yeah. the theater I know yeah. that's right. another yeah. like, comparable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, C.J. Lewis if you're, says. If you're a great order. <laughs> that's it. C.J. Lewis <laughs> says. Uh, oh, no, sorry. He just said that. Bryce Krakenberg. Krakenberg oh. says. I just rewatched this today for the first time in years after listening to the podcast. Raul had the absolute best lines in it. Mm-hmm. He truly did. Mm-hmm. Uh, Novato Judoka writes in again. To clear up some confusion, there was a Mortal Kombat TV series in the 90s. I remember it was on at midnight on TNT after WCW on Mondays. And the only thing <laughs> worse than the movie was Street Fighter, the movie, the video game, mm-hmm. where you play as the actors oh, no. as the characters. No what? shit. Wait, all right. That's the universe breaking. Wow. About? Hold on. Say it again. Street, <laughs> Street Fighter, Fighter the movie, the video game. Okay. This yeah. is like High School Musical, the musical. The musical, musical. The, yeah. the series, yeah. yeah. The most redundant title, yeah, yeah out there. Yeah. Uh, Long Tall Shorty says, oh, fuck, no. This is one of those times <laughs> where my heart genuinely hurts for my freak show friends. <laughs> Uh, Dude, it was it was tough going. Like, <laughs> I had a hard time with that one. It yeah. was. You got to go back yeah. and listen to that episode if you haven't heard. Uh, Dem Twisted Animation says, not that it matters much, but a quick correction is that Contra was developed and published by Konami, not Capcom. Konami. That's Contra. the other one I was okay. trying to think about. Thank you. He says, as for Street Fighter, I was a big fan of it ever since Street Fighter was released back in the early 90s on Super Nintendo. And I also, or Street Fighter 2 was released. On Super Nintendo, and I also played Street Fighter sequels into adulthood. Even as a fan with nostalgia, I really didn't care for this movie and for all the reasons that you stated. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Street Fighter, the movie, the game, <laughs> on <laughs> Sega Saturn. Oh, nice. oh, wow. With digitized graphics from the hit movie. No, hit movie. We're calling it a hit movie, it's- huh? It, oh, I, 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 man. I might need to play this. It sounds <laughs> wow. absolutely <laughs> wonderful. You got to seek this out. Yeah, Screen although I don't have a Sega next. Saturn, but we'll figure it out. There's got to be an emulator yeah, you can download of it. You can probably yeah. buy a Sega Saturn for like five bucks now. I mean, you know? uh, Mike Kling says, uh, quick, change the channel is what I do whenever <laughs> the movie is on. Yes, yeah, yep, that will fair. be my... Oh, fair. that means we can play as Ronald Julia in a fighting game. <gasps> I love this idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of Sean, Raul Julia. are we going to have a slumber party and play? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Mr. Feck says Raul Julia was a national treasure, and I absolutely love Street Fighter and its exceptionally fun performances. Not having a single host want to recommend this infectious film is beyond me. It's infectious, it's, all right, like a disease. <laughs> he says it's beyond the black rainbow. See what I did there? Ah! He says, All right, that's fair. Thank saw, you, yeah. Colin, for reading my one-star review on this week's show. He mm. gave our podcast one oh, yeah. star yeah. because we... And he says, I'm very passionate about the films I love. And yes, I was seeking out content about something I love deeply. Yeah. Possession there you go. was mentioned in conversation as Uh-oh. well. Don't I could write 10 pages on how much uh, I love that article of extraordinary performances and cinematography and the lack, or, and the lack of love for the film it was a bummer. <laughs> I still cannot recommend the podcast. But maybe, <laughs> but maybe someday. Then he gave us two stars. He gave us one star last oh, time. So oh, we're, we're getting out. there. We're, we're getting, wearing we, it we, down. We will, we will. Hey, we've been doing this for 10 years. We'll get you. We'll get you somehow. I like your enthusiasm. Right, sorry. but we appreciate it that we keep going up. <laughs> and there is a theme happening here because James Boyce right, oh, wrote it no. and oh. said, I recommended Possession years ago and have always amused when it's cited as the most disagreeable movie y'all sat through. I mean, I recommended it. <laughs> I recommended it too. What I the know. hell? I, yeah, to, to, to Michaela. Shepard. Okay, Michaela but, almost had a heart attack. But, I was like, Sean, I recommend you, it. I, Sean, I can't you bitched about the movie the whole time and then recommended it. That yeah, was, I was it like, was a surprising yeah, twist at the end. Yeah, 
good. Yeah. So yes, I was like, are you? you what just happened? See, yeah. You can't not recommend. Like, see, I didn't recommend it. You can't not yes, recommend can. that movie. Oh like, my god! Oh, you can't not and just be like, what? Uh, <laughs> that movie is so weird. Okay. <laughs> uh, action dude writes in and says. Hey, my favorite freaks, not generally a fan of adaptations regarding video games to movies of t- or TV shows. The only quality attempt I've seen has been The Last of Us. Mm-hmm. Yes. So Street Fighter is not good with the exception of Raul Julia, in my opinion. And also, Colin, we must be brothers from other mothers. Has still been working through your old podcast and listening to the Dracula 1979, in which you gave your top 10 favorite horror movies. And I believe about 60 to 70% of your picks match mine, Colin. There you go. Nice. So in my version of an ideal world, our houses would be on the same block and we'd be building tree forts with zip lines strung between them. <laughs> this then guy comes over and is like, we should join our houses. Yeah, well, then he says, Marry my daughter. We should take turns <laughs> flying across the line, lobbing water balloons at our younger siblings, <laughs> Sean, Holly, and Michaela. Good luck dodging the water balloons. Ha ha. Keep up the all great right. podcast. In this scenario, we all live friends. together. <laughs> we have water balloon fights on the weekends and zip lines between our houses. I, I don't see any I don't problem see any with issues this. Here. Was that a review? <laughs> it was like a review of the that show. Was like, I think. I'm it was saying, like a is life that, review. But is that like a Apple re- podcast review? That's what I'm asking. He, like, he, was that? Uh, he sent that via email. Okay, okay. okay. Via I thought, I thought that was a. Iowa, someone wrote that AKA all in review. Action dude. Okay, so action go. dude, yeah. Thank exactly. you very action much. Dude. And thank you all for writing in. Yes. I mean, yes. we really, really appreciate it. Thank you for the two stars. And the two well, stars, hey, I'll take whatever, yeah, yeah. Keep, we'll I'm, get you up to three. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. F- like, if we get him to three, I'm good. I'm not right. being facetious. I like his enthusiasm. Yeah. That's right. We'll I get like you. It. And now we're going to go around the table and tell you what we thought of tonight's movie, starting with... <sighs> All right. Me first? All right. Yes. Dead um, Calm. What do you think? Dead Calm. I had never seen this before, but I do remember seeing the artwork in like the the local grocery store like VHS wall, you know, because it has really good poster artwork. It's very of the time, but I love it. And I mean, I love the like horny thrillers of the 90s, you know, that's, I, that's a great subgenre and I wish it would come back. Like we've got to be, we've got to hit a point, right, where our movies are so sexless that they go in the opposite direction, yeah. right? Oh yeah. It, the I'm pendulum's going to swing, gonna swing yeah, the other way eventually, right? Yeah. So I'm, we're just waiting on that to ready for it to happen. <laughs> in um, the meantime, you've got the idol. Oh, it, 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 okay. I guess. I mean, right. I guess. Yes, I. No. Yeah, technically, yes. But will I be watching it? No. But um, so this movie, I thought I had it figured out, Colin. I agree, like you said. Like when you see, there's only three people in the cast, and they're all three stars. You're like, okay, well, two of them are a couple, and the other one's going to be the one that is the wedge between them, you know. But it doesn't quite work out the way you would think. And the dog is the wedge. The, uh, the dog is a big problem. But I mean, I was just as soon as they introduced the dog, I was like, you're gonna live on a boat for a month with a dog. Like that seems there was, not great. There, yes, there was talk of poop decks. Yeah, I because like uh, the dog space is so this, limited. Though. Yeah, I've seen this. I saw there's I follow a boat cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cats I make more sense, though. Cat. Yeah. But cats at least That's have a litter a box. So that makes I've sense. Yeah. Too. I've seen dogs but it's yeah. just yeah. like, I don't know. My, my dog could never, but I saw a bow cat named Roger. And yeah, yeah, it, they're out there. Yeah. They live there. They you know, uh, yeah, exist. You'll find it. Yeah, Billy Zane's not my favorite because, like I said, I don't like how I can spot what he's going to do as soon as he shows up because it's always what he does, you know. But that isn't the fault of this movie because this movie was the first one, you know. So if anything, every movie after this is just right. replicating this performance. So, um, I mean, I think he was well cast given what his role ended up being. I just I feel like I'm tired of seeing this. But that being said, I still love the movie. I love Nicole Kidman in it. She's delightful. And I I, this, I love the couple and the story together and the romanticism. And just like they're smart characters that make smart choices for the most part. And I think that's why when they don't make smart choices, it's so obvious. Like it's so obvious it's convenience for the like, plot. You're doing so good. Yeah, because it's like you you were 90% right, there. Right, clock convenience will yeah, come exactly. in there and be like, all right, we can't blow his brains out now. Right, exactly. But sure. It all still works. It surprised me. It kept me interested. Uh, there was parts of it that really reminded me, Colin, I was wondering if you think of this funny games. I've got a lot of funny games vibes Can from the relationship. Can you just bring this fucking movie, I'll please? bring it. Yeah, yeah, I'll bring it. <laughs> so but, we know what you're talking yeah, about. Between like... Uh, Captivity and, and people and being... The, yeah, uh, and the way they talk to each other yeah. and the jokiness of it. And yeah. especially like being like kind of white, unassuming people as well, too. There's there was a lot one. of that Have here. you ever seen the... Uh, the Desperate Hours. There's a yes. Humphrey Bogart version mm-hmm. and there's a Anthony yeah. Hopkins. Yes. Uh, I've seen the Bogart Rourke. version. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Where like somebody takes a, a family right. hostage. Yeah. And yeah. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, I would definitely recommend he, it. I had a great was time. Bad guy in that, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's a good mm-hmm. bad guy. But I, I thoroughly enjoyed it and really loved it. And I love these characters and like, 
there, I, I really like the characters and there was no one that I was like felt extraneous or ridiculous and I hope the not movie, only three. yeah <laughs> but the movie had its comedic moments and they but they weren't out of step with the rest of the movie mm. so I would definitely recommend it uh Sean what do you think uh yeah um uh, basically everything you've said, everything we've said tonight, uh, uh, I really enjoyed the, the you know the character work from everybody in this movie. Um, I had I'd seen some of this movie, like certain scenes, uh, a lot of the just Billy Zane stuff on the ship, him being. Um, I think I was looking at like the the cinematic history of Billy Zane, and I came across this and spent a good half hour on it. Um, but watching it tonight, it, uh, like uh, I'm glad it subverted my expectations. I'm glad we saw. Like just strong characters who didn't kind of dip into the stereotypes of that we see a lot in situations like this. Even the way the film was put together, like we had a lot of opportunity for stuff we've seen before. You know, uh, she's doing something mysterious down below, looks over a corner, and he's there. Didn't happen in mm -hmm. this movie, and it's it it does that very well. Like I said, subverting expectations. Um, great, just really great acting by everyone in this. Again, uh, Sam Neill and Nicole Kidman are. Um, you know, a couple goals. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and a really just like good suspense movie and like well built suspense. Like we talked about those moments where, you know, uh, two ships passing and like they barely, you know, they make it or they don't. And it's just, it's very suspenseful. Um, and, uh, yeah, you should definitely watch this. Uh, uh, we didn't have a lot of people write in, but I think hopefully you listen to our review and you will go watch it again. Uh, hour and a half, a really good thriller, um, kind of like a, again, just look at the cast; it's kind of bare bones. But yeah, everyone's doing. And Phil, uh, Philip Noyce is like a really good director. He's made a lot of really good movies. This is um, no different. So I will recommend Dead Calm. Colin, what did you think? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how many superlatives you can heap on it. It was a really good movie. Uh, you know, just a really and, solid good movie. And it does kind of feel like it presaged the like the 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 thriller. Uh, the nineties thriller movie, right? Like, I mean, in 89, this yeah. had to be like, you know, before a lot of them, um, I think it was well regarded by critics. If I remember like the critical reviews were all yeah. like, this is a great thriller. Critic, you know? Critics like to audiences that didn't love yeah. it, but yeah, maybe because they were unfamiliar with the people who were in it or, you know, something, I don't know. I think it could be as simple as like, this came was, out on a bad weekend. You know? It could be that like, this was just something, a certain type of movie we, they people hadn't seen in a while. And so they were just like, Ugh. well, it feels kind of, I guess, <clears throat> even watching it today, old fashioned you know i mean and again you know we're, we're telling you that the novel came out in the 30s uh it feels like a hitchcock nod in some ways it's like well hitchcock wrote the book on suspect how to do you know these scenes of uh of suspense philip noyce is good at it he didn't i don't think like i mean his uh i mean patriot games and clear and present danger and those kind of things don't see like he didn't make a career out of being a thriller director, right. you know, they didn't lean into it. It was like, mm -hmm. it is kind of maybe like this is his, I'm trying to do a Hitchcockian thing, mm -hmm. but I also do other stuff. And, you know, when we were reading off his filmography, I'm like, well, none of those are really like classics. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a good workman director. I think he's still working. I'm not entirely sure I say that. And then we're going to find out that he died last year. So. No, well, I, mean, I uh, looked, I was looking through a nothing, nothing that is going to... I think ring a bell to any of us recently, but I think yeah. he's still, so he's still out there. Wasn't the, wasn't the reboot of the of the TV Roots? Wasn't that just a few years ago? They did do that, oh, didn't yeah. they? He did, he did that. Or something like, okay, it was yeah. Annie. Or, I, I think, think it was so. Annie. I think you might yeah. be right. So yes. I think that was just a few years ago. Okay, okay. yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah. they had somebody else play. Yeah, Kuta I mean, Kuta what, he's yeah. good, you know. I mean, he's good as a director doing this kind of thing. It's like you know, uh, the photography's great. Uh, the performances I liked, I liked, I guess the writing I liked the, that I was surprised by that, I guess is maybe the thing that I take away from it the most. I thought it was going to go a different way. It didn't, it subverted my expectations quite a bit, which, you know, at some point you've seen too many goddamn movies and you're <laughs> like, well, I know That's the template point. and this is how it goes. But this yeah. one actually was like engaging because it was like, well, he could die here. I mean, mm -hmm. I, you know, um, yeah, and yeah, I guess up the two above his head and one like, is he going to die? Yeah, like, like, he, he could die. Yeah. And then what is she going to do? And I mean, that would be a 
something you would explore right in the in, in the story and be like well you know now but uh yeah i think the um it was refreshing from 2023 to look back at a movie where you had uh, a couple who actually you know and it's like they love each other but like i mean there's a, a fucking connection between these two people to just get back to each other yep uh you know that that it's kind of understated but it's also like the theme of the movie it was like i don't know i i thought it was great um you know middle it's 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 not a exceptional thriller but it's mm-hmm. a good one mm-hmm. and you should check it out holly what'd you think yeah, so I had seen this before, um, but I had forgotten about it, mm. and I was, I was looking for a movie to bring, and instead of looking at my long list, I was like, hey, let's, <laughs> what, am, what am I watching right now? <laughs> let's look at, let's look at some other stuff, and I just, I always start looking at movies we've watched, and mm. then like what, like what is like that movie, sure. and then I just go down the rabbit hole, mm. and eventually I came to this, and I was like, oh fuck yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like yeah, we're gonna watch this because it's it's that great like psychological erotic thriller from the '90s that we all love, and I love Sam Neill, I love Billy Zane, and I think Nicole Kidman is fantastic. I I like that even though there's like a 20 year difference between them, I don't feel the age difference mm. in this movie. Right, yeah, I didn't feel right. I, no, think, right. It, I think it's because she's yeah. so like she's just so good. Mature, yeah. 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 yeah, she's yeah. very like an old soul i would have yeah. never it's, guessed 19 yeah. Yeah. she's 19 never. In this movie. it's crazy Oy. yeah Can you put a 19 year old from nowadays into this movie right? oh my god come on <laughs> yeah um I, I i appreciate everything that went into this movie everyone was dedicated everyone went all in and i yeah i think it's a great movie it's entertaining as hell um and even though it's like a slow burn it's a good slow burn mm-hmm. you know it's an enjoyable one so um yeah i thought this was a good way to round out the summer we can put the boat away now. Oh, yeah. yeah. The boat, yeah. Nobody's yeah. Ever, nobody wants to go on that boat again. Yeah. Nope. It's like, nah, we're going to be landlocked for a little while now. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll find out. Uh, <laughs> That's a good but, way to close out the summer. I guess that means uh, contractually you're obligated to watch this movie. Yes, you right. have to. Yes. And then write in next week. Uh, mm-hmm. Everyone. Mm-hmm. So uh, next week, though, we're going to find out where that boat's docking because we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by Don Dockin. Uh <laughs> Michaela, what are we watching next week? It is back to school season. As Uh-oh. Holly said, we wrapped up the summer and going yep. back to school with disturbing behavior from 1998. Ooh, yes. Yes. So, oh, all right. Boy. I love this. Sorry, no, I, I don't. You don't know. I, I, I don't know how I feel. I haven't seen this movie in so I long. Seen it in a long true. time. I haven't yeah. seen it in a long time. I haven't time. seen it in so long. I, yeah. I'm not Wait, sure how I feel. It's 25 years old now. Nick Stahl. James Marsden. Marsden. Is this a Kevin Williamson? No, but this... No. It's around that era. It's that era. Yeah. But yeah. not him. Yeah. Stepford Wives, but for kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 25 years old this year. So. Damn. Yeah. All right. For, Bruce oh, Greenwood. This would be good. Too. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, it's next week that's on the Saturday cool. Night Freak Show. <laughs> we hope you'll join us. Let's kill some students. And until then, <laughs> ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.